Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another stream of Jordy Dreaming. Whew, I hope everyone is doing A-OK -okay and ready for the last step in Pokemon Legends Arceus. At least when it comes to YouTube, uploading videos and recording them in Pokemon Legends Arceus. <clears throat> Let's see, first things first, let me show off that I have caught 220 or 227 Pokemon right now and leveled them all up to research level 10, except for Azolf. Azolf is a mythical or legendary Pokemon, so we are going to catch him today. And of course, Dialga, Palkia, Fionn, and Menifee were already caught during one of the other streams. Uh, I have also... Let me actually stash that away. Stash. Stashy, stashy, stash. I can stash here. These. Um... Not gonna be catching that much, but I do need some potions soon. Citrus berry, max potion. That's fine. We'll go with that. Make like uh, fifty-two of those. Gonna come along. <laughs> uh, yada 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 yada. 107. That is correct, I think. We've collected 107 of the Wisps throughout the entire area. All the areas, I should say. And collected all the old verses. I have no idea what these are for, to be honest. But they were... You can dig these up in, like, four or three in every area with Luna, uh, Ursa Luna. And of course, during the night, you can find these wisps. Also during the day, but they are easily easier spotted during the day. Which you need for a side quest. Uh, not only that... <clears throat> but we have also collected... Um... All the unknown that were hidden throughout every world. Here. Um. Yeah, these are all the unknowns. I haven't ordered them in alphabetical full, uh, order, because I was not in the mood to do that, to be fair. We're also bringing along for this journey Draco, Almighty, Surge, a Memoswine, Ulfa, Palkia, and Dialga are going to come along as well. These are the six Pokemon that we're going to use for the endgame today. So, uh, step one. I've got hey, a few quests to complete doing? in the city, and that's what we're going to do first. Hey, Bobo. How you doing, my dude? So, we go to the map. We open up missions. And we're gonna go look which ones are everywhere. Bergmite is... at the Pearl Clan hideout. Token of Gratitude, Medi, and the Darksome Nightmare are both in different areas. Bit of help from Blissey, Alabaster Iceland, Traces of a Lost Village. Also in the Alabaster Highlands. Icelands. Mushroom hunting with swine up. At Hearts Crag in the Alabaster Highlands. Islands. Lands. One that needs to be found in the Coronet Highlands. Clefairy in, during a full moon. Ooh. <clears throat> in... Uh, Coordinate Highlands, as well. Nose Pass, give it to Gully. Where are you? Are you in the Coordinate Highlands? 
I take that as a yes. Nope. Good, had fun D and D session. Gonna see if I can copy some games I have on my on hard copy so I can play them on my laptop. I see. Nice dude. Uh, back to the missions. Nose pass, nose the way. Octillery Inc. New dish. Oh, you're actually in here. The elegant tail. Find a Pokemon with an elegant tail that curls like a spring. And catch one to show. Wait. It curls like a spring? Gotta look at my Pokedex for that. Taste of Honey is in town as well. <clears throat> to bloom or not to bloom on Cherim. And the eerie apparitions at night. Those are the last ones that I actually have. Why is it all sun unsorted again? One till that. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one, because this one is what took me personally the longest to complete. Because Cherim is very hard to find in the game. And I will explain in a bit what I did to War Well, where I have managed to find Cherubi so that we could get Cherim <clears throat> when necessary. By the way, Bubbo, glad to hear that uh, the DD went, well, went correctly, went well. Finished Cherim's Pokedex entry, have you? Let me have a look. Whoa, you sure went into detail. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. So it changed its form when the sun's hidden. Yes, I didn't see it evolve, I just saw that change in action. I see how... I see now why it helps to have the you survey corpse folking, folks working at researching Pokemon. I guess I'd better get back to my own work. Food on the table is just another way to repay you. Okay, that was number... No. This main mission. Hey, Zillar. To bloom or not to bloom? Okay. So, to bloom or not to bloom? Uh, you get this mission around the first area, right? When you first start the game. The mission pops up and... Uh, you're tempted to go and search for shaking trees. And hoping to find a shaking tree with... A chair a minute. Now, the one and only place that I 100% know Charim spawned for me was in a shaking tree all the way over here with a. What is Benary's evolution called again? At least Benary's alpha evolution is running around in this corner over here. And then one tree here will be shaking sometimes, and a Cherim will pop out of that one. Uh, I had luck twice getting two Cherims out of that, but my Shaking Tree luck was not so great. Now, when I was grinding all the Pokémons to level 10, I noticed that the, that in lovely spring over here, there are a lot of Shaking Trees. And if you hit these Shaking Trees, Cherim is, uh, tends to spawn here as well. I used, like, a site, which I will be posting in uh, the description of this video, for finding all the unknowns, wisps, and other rare Pokémons uh, that you can track using that site. It shows you, like, every location of all Pokémon, and is pretty useful to me, at least, and for finding all the collectibles as well. So yeah, that's the Charon quest. Uh, next one. We don't want to go anywhere. Researcher of Myths. Quested by Silene. Follow... Oh wait, this is one of the main missions. Sorry. The Eerie Apparitions at Night. So this is the quest for the Wisps, and we're not 100% going to finish this one yet. Because we need to go to uh, the Crimson Mirelands for that. But we can at least start talking to the 
I think it's a girl that gave us the quest in the first place, and she's probably gonna tell us where to go afterwards. Ziller, how are you doing today, dude? Thanks again for helping me. You've collected 107 wisps so far. Since you've gathered five wisps, here's a little thank you present, an oval stone, 10 wisps, rare candy, 20 wisps, seed of mastery, can sell that, 30 wisps, dusk zone, 40 wisps, large candy, 50 wisps, linking cord, oh, nice, 60 grid petals, 70, reaper cloth, 80, 3 seeds of mastery, 90, 2 XP candies XL, 100 wisps, 3 grit rocks. <clears throat> Whoa, you've gathered every last one of the wisps. I really can't thank you enough. Psych, now we can finally seal away that havoc wrecking bundle of mischief once and more. But we'll need to go to the Shrouded Runes. That's the only place the sealing will work. We should meet there at the same time of day as we first met. Hope you remember. Yeah, I do not remember, but I think we just need to go at night. And that will be fine. So, that is the Wisps. This will allow us to actually catch Beartomb in a bit. Which is uh, not something we're gonna do right now. I'm okay, a little bit of pain again today though, which is annoying. Uh, still from... Um, getting your teeth uh, hooked. <laughs> removed. I don't remember what it's called, sorry, I'm an idiot. A little bit. <clears throat> Next quest, Elegant Tail, and I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea on this one, yeah. I have sneezed, so that makes it flare up a bit. That sucks. Okay, uh, which Pokemon has a tail in the form of a spring? The only one that I know is... Spoink? But Spoink is not in this game. Glamiao as well? Do I have a Glamiao caught? Or do I need to go catch one ASAP? Uh, wrong button, search. Glam... Glam, glam, glam. I cannot hear Glamio. Oh, okay. Jordi does not own a Glamio currently. Um, we'll do that one in a bit then. Glamio is not finishable currently. Oh, wrong one. That's one of the reasons why I have kept like most of my Pokemon. But Glamio is one of the Pokemon that I probably like picked out before. Um, I decided to save all the Pokémon, and I hadn't actually need to catch another one. So we're gonna go pick up another one, and that is the Octillery Ink. We just need to show off a complete Pokédex of Octillery, which we have done to this lady. Obviously, there are multiple ways that you can uh, like fix this. You can catch the Alpha Octillery in. Ocean lands, whatever, the seaside, and then spam its moves, or you can catch uh, Rem Raid, evolve it, uh, catch a few more artillery, etc. All the ways that you can get it to level 10. <clears throat> Radisa. Oh, you've looked into artillery for me, have you? Lovely. Let's hear what you've learned. Oh my, so that's how it is. Wait, hold on. Are you quite sure? Goodness, to think that Remoraid evolves into Octillery despite them looking nothing alike. But more importantly, it seems Octillery isn't poisonous, so its ink must be safe to eat after all. Oh, I can't wait to gather up some ink and try lots of innovative new recipes. Once my new pickles are well and truly perfected, pop by for a taste, won't you? Easy peasy. Yep, easy peasy. Next! 
Requests. Scrolling, scrolling. Elegant Tail we'll do later, because we can do that. Next is the Taste of Honey. So the Taste of Honey lets, uh, asks of you to catch three combi from three different areas. The first two areas are not that bad. They are like the obvious spawns where you run into combi every single time. But the third one, the Ram Ramanas Island, is in the first area and is where you can find the Alpha Moferno and usually Chimchar, which is here. Uh, over this island, there are quite a few trees that can shake and Combi doesn't spawn other than from those trees. I was the first time I was kind of confused, but Zillar actually pointed out that they come from the trees. So uh, you just have to like reset every so once in a while to like see if they're shaking trees and then catch it on Ramones Island. It is a quest that comes fairly late because you need to be able to surf here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it to this one. Yeah, I have. All the way in the last one. I'll just have myself a little sample if it's honey. Slurp. This type of honey just begs to be stirred into a cup of tea. Must be something different about flowers. So combi in different areas make differently flavored honey. What a delightfully mysterious bunch they are. Just think how many different clusters of combi there are on the obsidian fieldlands alone. I'm getting the urge to go collect m more honey. Thanks for helping me confirm my suspicions. I have some of my hand-selected dazzling honey. Boom. That's another one done. Um, select. It's not called select button, but the minus button. But I don't care. Elegant tail. Airy operations at night is going to be finished in a bit. Clefairy, all at other locations. Okay. So, uh, we're actually, I'm actually gonna go grab the Glamiel real quick. Like, really, really quick. You have a new quest. That is... Not something that I'd like to see. That's fine. I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? You bet I am. Tell you what, my dear. Help me gather the ingredients and I'll teach you the recipe. I need two hunks of crunchy salt, two pods of plum beans, and two bunch of king leaves. Okay. That's an 80 quest. Quest 80. I should have all the resources for that. Should have. Uh, you go, 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 go. Okay, I need two. Okay. Oh. Let's get pickling. Lovely, I already have sand radish I need, so let's get pickling. Now the final step, all we need to do is place geodude on top of the pot and it's done. What in the world? Geodude evolved into Graveler. Graf. Gosh, geodude changed shape. Is that... Is this that evolution business I've heard people talk about? And what about the pickles? Oh my, this is twice as good as I expected. I'll call it twice spiced radish. 
truly is the perfect pickle dish. Why, with the help of Pokemon, there is no limit to what a cook can accomplish. Thanks you so much for helping me out. Okay, that was an easy one. The twice spiced radish. We'll go have to look at what it actually is later. Because it's a recipe. Uh, Cobalt Coastlands, that's what it's called. Catch a Glamiao. And then deliver that quest. Oh yeah, I see now that Glamiao also has a springy tail. Serious? Oh, I was about to say. Oh hell no you don't! <laughs> oh hell no, son! Yeah, I report the findings. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I don't think we've actually talked about the fact that I'm a full star member already. Um, I should probably talk about that because I've heard different things from different people so far that they actually couldn't reach perfect star, a uh, full star member by purely leveling everything to level 10. Uh, so here is my actual tip. When you uh, go out to get your Pokemon research levels up to level 10, do not be afraid to, like, do extra than that is necessary. Like, some Pokemons just have very easy ones where you need to spam a move a bunch of times. And in those kind of situations, if your move has more PP, then you actually need to reach level 10. Uh, just spam its move a little bit extra. Give him some extra levels. Uh, you can also use, like, your own Pokemon and keep feeding those research uh, objectives with spammable moves. Like, for example, my Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp is probably easiest to find here. Here, my Garchomp needed to use, like, 40 Dragon Claws but also needs to use a hundred strong style attacks. Every single time that I'm running around with Garchomp, I'm purely just uh, using strong style moves. And the same goes with other poke. Like I did not need to put so much effort into certain uh, Pokemon as that I have done. Uh, Magnemite, for example, I purely went over the batch because I was in Corn and Highlands the entire time and you need to do so many specific things for it. It's just very helpful that if you're running around with specific Pokemon that you like, uh, to complete them a little bit extra. And especially if you're just going to KO certain Pokemons for uh, things like Paris, for example. I've run into a shit ton of Paris, and Purely due to that, I have, like, seen so many Absorbs, so many Stun Spores, done 40 beats on it already. F the Feed with Fire style moves. Same with uh, Zubats, Golbats. You just live yourself out, right? It's not really a rush. And just see what makes them tick a little bit to make it easier for yourself. Like, there are some, for example, this Togekiss I haven't put any time into whatsoever. But Togepi, on the other hand, is this far ahead. Purely because I hunted Togepi's a little bit. <clears throat> and I ran into a lot of their uh, outbreaks. So yeah, most of the, like, tiny Pokemon as well, like the baby Pokemon, like Bonsly, are just very hard to come by, so if you do run into them, you try to, like, activate their times you've uh, given it food, uh, catch them uh, without being spotted, etc, etc. Those, like, the times you've given them food is already, like, five research points if you complete that one completely. 
so that makes uh, it all slightly easier. Where the frick was this person again that needed Glamio? Here, Elegant Tail. That uh, was close by. There. Order, order, order. What a tail. Did you find a Pokemon with the tail I'm looking for? Yeah, this one. Yes, this is it. It's just as I remembered. The elegant swale of its tail. That charming spiral shape. And the enchanting way it bobs with... It bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable. Remarkable. This evolution line was the most confusing to me every single time. From Glammy out to Pur Ugly. Aw, it's little Meow is adorable as well. Have you gotten attached to me there, kitty? Oh, the dilemma. Pokemon are scary, but maybe this little one and I can get along just... Nope. Aha, the darn thing scratched me. Doesn't like you at all. I guess I got a little carried away there. Thanks for showing me your Glamio anyway. It's tail, at least. Was a joy to see. One day when I find the Pokemon with the perfect tail for me, I'd like to become fast friends with it. Just like you and your Pokemon. Yeah, to each their own. See, told you. Yeah, you were completely right, Zillar. I never actually paid enough attention to uh, Glamiao's design to uh, not realize that was a thing. You are completely correct, sir. Let's go ditch some of the stuff that I had in here. Okay. So, first stop. The Obsidian Field Lens. This is our side quest, I think, Midi. Yeah, aha, you must be Yordi, right? Hello, I heard about you from mine. Thank you for taking all my requests. I'll get right to the point. Once when I was little, I got lost here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. I was wandering around in tears when I stumbled across a field of beautiful flowers. That's where I met it, a Pokemon I'd never seen before. I ga it gave me a flower and then set off, one, uh, off walking as if to guide me somewhere, so I followed it. And it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and tell how grateful I am. The only problem is I haven't been able to find that field flower, so I'd like you to help me. Here, this is the only clue I've got. A Gracidea. The flower. That's a that that's called a Gracidia flower. It's the same flower as the Pokemon as the one that Pokemon gave me. Please find a field of Gracidia flowers here in the Obsidian Fieldlands for me. Okay, so it's not a very hard location to find. Also, this quest is only yeah. I think Darkrai was Brilliant Diamond and Pearl, and this one is. Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, uh, there are two legendaries slash mythical Pokemon that you can only catch if you uh, have save data of those games. In this case, we're now gonna go get Shaman. Which, uh, this should be the area. <clears throat> this seems to be the flower field Medi has been looking for. Is this the field from back then? F 
flowers may be withered, but I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. It's a very, it's a very early place that you can find, like in the game. It's surrounded by either butterflies or dustoaks and wormpools and cascoons and silcoons. So uh, yeah, it's not a very hard place to find. Excuse me, can you hear me, kind Pokémon? A long time ago, I got lost out here, and you guided me back. I don't know if I'd have made it home without you, so I just came to say... Thank you so much! Arigato! The, the flowers! So these are, like, these quests are kind of hinted at in previous games, which is fairly funny. I like that, personally. Same with the Menifee and Fion questline was also hinted at in the previous game. Uh, if you do the quest, like, right now, you... There's not much that you know about it, unless you probably Google or search for books in... Uh, I think in Shining... Pearl and Brilliant Diamonds, you can actually find information about those quests and this quest as well. This one is not that hard, thankfully. But uh, yeah, Kyuhum! Okay, Shaman. Thank you very much, Jordi. I'll make sure to thank Mai for pointing me towards you as well. I suppose you'll be staying here to study that Pokemon. Well, good luck with your work. Take care. I don't know how we're going to go about on catching... Oh wait, I'm thinking of... Uh, of catching the legendary Pokémon, honestly. Don't know how rough it's going to be. It doesn't... Oh! It does aggro. Um... Okay, I think we're just gonna weaken it. Shaman, level 70, is keeping... Okay! The ran away. You must catch, a poke, uh, catch the Pokémon to battle once more. Is it back? Is it back somewhere? I don't actually see him. Okay, so we're gonna go move back and forth real quick, reset the encounter. And this time actually try and be a little bit more stealthy. Uh, we have no idea what kind of food it likes, so... That's gonna be interesting. Like, this is definitely not your typical how do we catch legendary Pokemons like in the previous games, right? Which is, in my opinion, very cool. Because I was personally getting really bored of the old concept. Mm, but seeing as we do not know what kind of things Shaman likes to eat... See if it actually has respawned, because it is in the middle of the flowers. If I need to leave the area completely. I think I might have to leave the area completely. Okay. <clears throat> test. One, two, three, test. I really got another choice but to try. P 
Parasite. Yeah, yeah. I know, Shing, she wanna kick my ass. Um... Shaman should be on the list, though, because we encountered it right here. Earth Power, Seed Flare, Strong Style. Ah, there it is. Um... Honey. Flowers and honey work well together, right? Oh, did it just attack me? Okay. Where did it, um... Did it run away? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, Shaman, you're not gonna fucking mess with me, are you? Shaman is like... Not fan. Yeah, I did see the Pokemon. It attacked me. I thought, like, maybe I can lure it away with something, with some food. But uh, he's, uh, Shaman is like, no fan. I see you. I'm just gonna attack you and then run the fuck away. What, you wanna catch me? Well, uh, try in about 100 years again or something. I got 17 jet balls, that's actually not a lot. You wanna catch me? Too bad, bitch. Get on my level. Okay, I see it there. Yeah, I got a shiny Luxio. Brains. Does he like that? No. But it didn't notice me, so maybe this works. Fuck. Okay, Grains is a no no. But it's not an alpha, so, uh... Maybe I should save, actually, and, uh, I don't know which one is faster or slower. We'll see. <sighs> Here we go again. Okay, grains is a no-no. Let's try honey next. Because it did seem to respond to it, at least. Does he respond to it? Yeah, but 
doesn't care to eat it. Oh, it's gone already? Oh no, I'm just throwing over it. Stop running after me. Ah, we got him. Maybe you need to fight it. No, when I attacked it, it ran away. It did the keeping its guard up and then uh, fled like ASAP. So that is definitely not what it uh, we needed to do with this one. Okay, we got Shinx. Nice. Shinx. Shaman. <clears throat> Yordi, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters, rather than hieroglyphs, if you will. Rather like hieroglyphs. I've inspected the rooms across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who thought together with Pokémon at his side went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. It does sound familiar. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisuian region? But now, let's discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all these frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved in their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Yordi? I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me at the heart of the grueling grove. Where is that again? At the heart of the grueling grove. Over there. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, we'll go do that in a bit. I'm first gonna go say hi to whichever Pokemon it was that appeared in the other cave. Ooxie, Chuxi, Booxie, whatever they were called. Throw all the goals to capture all of them. Dobra Alagazam. Let's see, is it here? Nope. Guess we can't catch it yet. Lame. 
Fush. 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 Hey, Rapidash. Sashi booty. Grilling Grove. Funny how the old file Harry Cross is now not here. Now you already according to my own investigations. What? An Alpha Vespa Queen? Terribly sorry, Yordi, but do you think you could handle this? That one just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, there's a shaking tree there as well. Go, Drago! 16. Filled with rage. Um, I guess we're just gonna go Dragon Claw. Bug Buzz. You obtained a stone plate. Huh. Why did that alpha Pokemon have a plate that we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find a plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate I had any information about, so that's that. And yet, nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there are still more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all, all about the plates. Mr. Skogita? One and only Mr. Skogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onwards to the ancient retreat. Okay, um... I'll go here. I'll come back to Lake Verity later. <sighs> Shaman landform. Turn to the village. Um, whoop, 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 the ancient treats. Uh, okay, nah, we can't do them yet. Need to come back to that later. It's all during the main quest. Mistress Kogita! Oh, lost one. It's miraculous what you've done. Seems the red chain served this purpose well. And you carried out your duty as you were bid... But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about the plates. Ah, yes, a tale whose origin lies a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people from whom I descended across many generations. These forebears of mine worship Arceus as the Pokémon that created his region. 
and I have heard of certain fragments, plates, as they are called, as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokémon such as Cleavor and Weirdear. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I've nothing new to tell you. Why the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Yoga and Palkia with the creator Arceus had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on. The answer to these mysteries may even shed light on why Yordi here fell from the sky. Aha, I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help as best as I can. There are still other ter and tremendous Pokémon in here, so you utter... Uh, there are still other uh, tremendous Pokémon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in search of... But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think, there are the Pokémon of the lakes, of course, and the giant temple, the crescent moon, the volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of, the three lake Pokémon? Ah yes, them. You already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. Okay. The volcano. Well, where could that be but Fire Spit Atlant? The Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue eliminate your path? Well, make for Coordinate Highlands for now. Now then, what would you hear of the Temple Giant? The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Now then, what would you hear of the beginning? Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to the earth here? Hmm, Prelude Beach. Now then, what would you like to hear of? Never mind. Done with your questions, are you? Yes. Very well, last one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokémon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake and for that of the Pokédex you labor on. I knew we could rely on you, Mr. Skogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now let us go find those plates. Yeah. So that's how it worked. It's just as I had suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Jordi. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the message on the back of the plates, at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kogita mentioned, Jordi. I have my own avenue, uh, avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to, to see what kind of Pokémon it might be. Yeah, of course you don't, you crazy mad lad. Okay, so we're, since we're going to Jibalife Village, might as well start off with Prelude Beach, right? I have a message from Mr. Skogita. I'm told you are collecting plates of some sort with Merchant Velo. Then you must go to Prolet Beach. Meet me there. Okay. Practice field. The most annoying thing that we're going to have to deal with is moon phases in a bit once we get to uh, the mountain. I personally don't really want to deal with that, but we got to do that for two quests now. Got to make a full moon for the Clefairies. Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now, it is not the time for words. Face me in battle! Aye aye, Captain! Five Pokemon. I still don't really have 
a great team for this, honestly. A Bedreco, a Malfoy should be able to clean up most of it. What level is he? 65? Yeah, about the same as in the... Actual, did he just use Force? Son of a bitch. Uh, as I battled him uh, at the training grounds. It's good experience points though for the rest of the team. If nobody dies, I horsepower earn. Agile style. 66 Snorlax. Commodo calls back Snorlax. Okay, that is not too big of a deal. The Fable is not what I like to see right now. Pokemon. I also just realized that I kind of have a lot of Dragon types on my uh, crew. Uh, Surge should be able to handle the Fable though. Lizzie! Calm mind. Defensive stat was raised. How are you doing today, Lizzie? Thunder Wave. Psychic. That's not too great. My defensive stats get dropped as well. F. Ow! Oh, my knee! Uh, Thunderfang. Psychic. I'm working on lunch slash dinner. Everyone enjoyed the chicken legs yesterday. They wanted to repeat that, and I'm making penny pasta in a Alfredo sauce. Nice. <laughs> nice, Lizzie. Nice. I felt I'm only been up for like an hour and a half right now. Maybe veggies, your favorite. Rude Lizzie. High horsepower, that's gonna kill Surge. If he's allowed to move again. Yeah, but... Jordy is okay. He had a lot of sleep today, though. I've been up for hours. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Up for hours, says Lizzie. Okay, Heracles. Hmm, I guess we're just gonna go with a regular old Dragon Claw. That might have killed, actually. Kitty wasn't in the back of my house this morning, so I went to the front and he was out there and came meowing to my front door. Cute. Did you figure out what you want to call it yet? Oh, it survived. Fuck my life. Okay, Drago went down as well. Kind of sad. Um, Mem Swine. Ancient power. It's all decided. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies.
You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. It's clear you do not view Pokémon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are divine, a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. You received the fist plate. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plane. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adaman, Irida. It appears we are all being guided by the one called Almighty Sino. Hmm. I might be more it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I have no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count on you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokémon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Ow. I hit myself a little bit too hard on the head. Four more plates left to find. Okay, that means we go back. To the first area and capture ourselves one of the lake three oh. I'm thirsty as fuck. We Run, Snorlax! Run from the Snorlax! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I guess we're just gonna fight now. Mess spirit. False swipe. Use recover. Okay, false swipe is not gonna do me any good. Good to know. Uh, Pokemon. Surge, go! Extra sensory. Handle two hits. I don't really get much speed from that, so we're just gonna do a normal one. Oops, starting too close. Okay. Uh, we don't want to kill it, so I'm not gonna crunch it. Oh. We're just gonna Thunder Fang it, see how much damage we do. Let's recover again. Okay, it's fine. Let's throw uh, Ultra Ball. Dang it. Extra sensory. Swap out. Huh? 
through enraged. Yuri Yuri does a mystical power. Defensive stats are raised. Interesting. Nice, got it. There are two more lake Pokemon left to be caught. <clears throat> Mess pit it. Huh. They actually don't like anything. Food wise. Interesting. On to the Crimson Mirelands. Three things that we need to do here. One, catch Spiritomb. Two, beat up Adamon. Three, catch one of the Lake 3-0. I think that's everything. Nightfall. Yeah. Pretty sure it is. Uh, okay. Let's start with catching Spiritomb. So apparently it is possible to catch Spiritomb with, as an Alpha and uh, Shiny. It's just incredibly tedious to do. There's like a 0.5 chance that uh, it actually spawns like that. Even after you completed all the shit. And there's also a low chance that it actually spawns over there. Uh, after the quest is completed. Let me have a look. I think I need to... Um, requests. Eerie Aspiration. There. Yordi, I'm glad you came. Let's get started, shall we? First of all, confession. I may have not I may have told you one teeny tiny lie. About the wisps. There are actually uh 108 of them. I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put it in the old keystone with the others? But wait, before that, well Yordi, what do you think of me? I don't really know you. Really? Even after gathering 107 wisps? <laughs> well, it's fine. We have time after all. Here it goes, the final wisp. After this, the time the traveler who used the strange magic will finally forgive me, right? Ah, close your eyes for a sec, would you? Jump scare! She was the final wisp. The old keystone started glowing. The old keystone disappeared without a trace. Making you gather all those wisps was my last bit of mischief. Thanks for playing along. Please, don't forget about me. The eerie apparition at night, twice spiced reddish. You sense the presence of a strange Pokémon. There it is! Spirit to Tomb! We're just gonna chuck Pokéballs at it. 
just like everything else. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> Nasty claw. can't really weaken it. I can probably stun it. Just go into ball of spare to him. Fuck my life. Real enraged. Please don't kill Luke's Serene. Okay, good. Thunder Wave. Gives me at least a higher chance on caps. Um, the Yoga should be able to handle some. Items, throw Ultra Ball. Dang it. Apparently not. I'm legit kind of too scared to actually try and uh, hit it in case that I just kill. Oh, there it goes, finally. Uh -huh. Spirit Tomb, call. Okay, uh, go to Myerland's camp. You already scared? You already scared of nothing. I guess that's kind of true. <laughs> That's not true. I'm scared of a lot of things. But, um... Yeah, I don't want to kill the spirit tomb like that. It would just be annoying to me. Uh, I want to see my Pokémon. Mm, the two of you... ...need to go in... ...with all the other... Pokemons that we want to keep. Uh, we healed up. So let's go battle Adamon. <laughs> and grab Yuxi or Shuxi, whatever they're all called. Hey, if it isn't Jordy, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Did that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in, if you're curious. Yeah, I'm curious. That's the survey Scorp spirit. Curiosity is what moves science forward, according to the good old Mr. Professor. But come to think of it, what I've found seems too valuable to just let you in on this for free. You'll need to work a little. Diamond Clan's treasure. Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. Okay, fine. Let's battle. Then it's on. Time to see what you've got. Here I come, knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Future! Are they gonna cheat again and give me mo yeah attack me with multiple Pokemon? Vaporeon, Umbreon, and Leafeon. Okay, we're just gonna take out the Leafeon 
Wait, what level are 16. Okay, let's take out the trash. I like that these guys are running around with all Eve Illusions, though. It's fucking hilarious. Agile style. Baby dull eyes. That's not so great. Leaf blade. Dragon claw. Critical hit. Good job, Garchomp. 56. As much as I love having Garchomp uh, Gengar on the team, I think I'm going to swap him out for something else. The Adamant Crystal. When used on the Yolga, this large glowing gem wells with the power and allows the Pokemon to change form. This is this used to be my grandfather's. He said it's somehow related to the almighty, I mean, the mighty Dionga. So now that I've put you through the ringer a little, it seems right to give it to you since you're the one who caught my Didioga. You know, I'll tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You thought me another way to get along with Pokemon. Another way to relate to the world. Comet Shard. I actually need to go heal my Pokemon. But this... What we just picked up. Um is important for us. If I can find... Ah, here it is. Look, Dialga now turns into his origin form. Um, Grego. I'm gonna set Surge up front. So that we can instantly set him to paralyze. Okay, I'm grabbing a drink real quick. <laughs> Let's move in. Nice elf. Mystical power. Well, outspent much. Defensive stats were raised. Thunder wave. Oh. It's okay, Serge, you did your job. Just see if this works. <clears throat> I can't 
can't really weaken it if it's just gonna heal himself anyways. Also, I should probably really save before these encounters. Nice. As elf is caught. I think that cleans up this area, right? Completely. Even with side missions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is the moon currently like in the game? It is definitely not a full moon, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Marlin's camp. Okay. Uh, I realize that for the time being, I'm probably not going to be able to capture another spare tomb. So you're going in there. Caught two new Pokemon. Yes, sir. Return to the village! Next is... The Coastlands. So we've got a Pokémon to catch in the Volcano. And I'm pretty sure we got a Pokémon to catch on the other side as well. Now would you look at that? The festival that festival attended by everyone in the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iceken in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Yordi, Lena, I mean sorry, Polina here has something she wants to discuss with you. That's right, you should also hear about this Irida. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Uh oh. Firespit Island? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just... very hot there. <clears throat> My, you speak in such despairing terms of the seats that my Lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, you the... No, Alina, I... Oh, stop with that silly old nickname in front of the others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it, it's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Firespit Island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt up there. <sighs> Lovely. I didn't actually anticipate that they'd go about it that way. Um, save. Hello, Yordi. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. Our warden, Iceken, wasn't Lena joining us? 
Oh yes, about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she asked us to check the lava dome sanctum without her. What? The nerve? Ah, oh, she knows I can't stand swaddling place like this. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The warden of the lords of the isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Anyway, you already shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Mm-hmm. I wonder what kind of encounter this is going to be like. Look at her big fucking mouth so opened like that. <laughs> go, whoa, whoa, blah, 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 blah. Careful, Yordi. Fuck are these? Balls of mud. Oh, interesting. Okay, I need to stun it. 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 Do I have... Ethern used earth power. That is gonna kill Surge right there. Please tell me I can... Okay, nice. Thunder wave. And swap him out for Draco. and can't move, okay? You should not be able to... escape. Um, hmm. Let's try a regular Dragon Claw, see how much damage it does. Okay, it's not that much. Shadow Ball Claw, how about that? I saved as well, so I shouldn't have to worry too much. Um, do two more Agile Dragon Claws. Okay, one is enough because of the crit. So that's why all the mud balls were here. Nice capture. Ether and caught. You obtained the iron plate. Phew, at least the heat's let up a bit. Look at her face. <laughs> With both Arcanine and Heatron Spoon flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Alright, I can have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Um, well, um, yes, of course there was. After all, you are the leader of the Pro Clan, and this trouble propped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so... Yes, it was surely best for you to come to see it. Admiral Wall of you to look after your clan's affairs. You really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all this time I have pushed Lena to train her Growlith harder. That's surely not the case. Even if Warren Polina may have mentioned something about the need for um, tough love. I thought so. I think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe. When it comes to me, oh, you're, you did great. Well, um, just head back ahead of you then. <laughs> the plate of Fire Spit Island. Three more hints left to go. <laughs> that was fucking great. I'm not gonna lie. Belina deciding to bully. Max Potion on Surge. So technically we do not have to go here yet to the Spring Path, but we are going there. Purely because I wanted to see if I can do that ahead of time. Or if I can already do that.
Sushi! The man, the myth, the legend. How are you doing, dude? Uh, I already got an alpha of you. Another one. Buy Empoleon, buy Empoleon. Okay, let's make a quick save here. Glad to hear, glad to hear. Okay, so it looks like this cave is still empty. Means we gotta return here later. I'm okay, I'm okay. I've slept a lot today. I think I've only came out of bed like an hour before I started the stream. Um... Time to go to the mountain. And the mountain has a lot of quests for us to do as well. So not purely the main quests. I hope that we don't have to wait too long on the moon though. Because that would really suck. Uh, Highlands Camp. Pokemon. Um... Pokemon Legends Arceus Moon Cycle. Okay. Let's have a look, because we got quite a lot of quests here. We got Dark Some Nightmare, which is Darkrai. This is not here. Mushroom Alabaster Alabaster Find Wanda is somewhere around here. Gully. Is wait you? Your gully? Nose pass. Yeah, I got a nose pass for you. Wait, where the fuck did she go? Did she just move inside the oh, fuck my life. She just says, stay put. Oh. Well, that's great. I ended up catching Darkrai by accident. <laughs> Sushi. You can't catch a Darkrai by accident. That's not how it works. Um...
You called it by choice. A nose fest never wonders, indeed. I wish I'd encountered this Pokemon sooner. Oh, you big thanks. It's such a relief to finally have nose pests as my trusty guide. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy is as they say. Oh, you get a free black Elgar right item from that one. Oops, wrong one. Um, just running around grabbing ores, and I accidentally found him. <laughs> See, I purposely uh, looked where he would spawn in the quest so that I wouldn't accidentally find him. But it also wasn't that hard to actually pinpoint where he was because usually uh, he spawns like over here, right? Here. But if you go during the night or during the day... Um, now, when the quest is active, there isn't the Alpha, the Alpha, what is it called again? Bronzong? Bronzor? Whatever isn't here. Usually there's an Alpha Bronzor here. Song. Dong. But it's not there now, due to Dark Cry quest. Ah, there she is. You're already at last, though I knew you'd come to find me. I got hit with a gust from Horns Corral that sent me tumbling right down the mountainside. Couldn't climb back up and I couldn't get down either, so I've been stuck. So, um, please, get me back on track. This lady is so lucky that we help her every single time. We're galaxy teammates, really? Such a relief to hear you say that. So glad I can rely on you, Yordi. Though it's a little embarrassing, I guess, to admit to myself that I need to rely on you. Oh, you know what? I used to think that Sneasler was a mean Pokemon since it looks sly and unsavory, but it helped me out of a real tight spot, so I guess it must be good at heart after all. Yeah, we're not gonna report back to Zeke. Uh, where the f- Oh. Serious? Rude game. Rude. Uh, let me actually open up the side quest for the Clefairy dance location. I need to be here during a full move. Um... Until nightfall. Night 15 on 16. I think the last... Uh, that really sucks, by the way. If that is really the case. The last moon I saw... This is also really annoying. You gotta wait a little bit until the moon actually appears. Using Yamega for the first time in Pokemon Unbound. And honestly, I kind of love him. Yamega is a freakishly good Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. I really like your Mega. Dark Cry again, something that I cannot weaken that easily. Ooh, did he just appear on that side? Super sick. So legendaries don't actually have a uh, a food that they like to eat, which is kind of interesting. Oh crap! Huh? Where are you? Wait. 
Wait. What the fuck am I supposed to do with it? I was able to sneak up to him. Really? Quit teleporting away, you twat. <laughs> Lol. I should probably save as well, honestly. With what Pokemon did you one-shot it? Okay, he doesn't want to fucking fuck around, does he? Ha! Caught him unaware. Um, start with Thunder Wave. I think Sneasler. Oh yeah, did you, uh, did you fight them with all your stats already at level 10 then? An agile style close combat, how the fuck did that work? Not very effective. What typing is Darkrai? You're dark. Really? Oh, what? Definitely did not anticipate that. Astounding. Everyone will be able to rest easy. Yes, no one now... Yes, now no one else will fall victim to such dark nightmares. I suppose I'd better be heading back home myself now, but I won't ever forget what you did. For a while, young one. Yeah, I agree. Should definitely be Dark Ghost. <sighs> but... Whoever figures out what the fuck... Um... And Spiritomb in the same region. Yeah, but Spiritomb wasn't a, uh, what's it called? A legendary. <laughs> Even though uh, it pretty much uh, takes a lot more time to get than any regular old legendary. Okay, so we're on 1516 most likely right now. Okay, uh, quest for the Clefairy Moon Lit Dance. The Plate of Moonview area, <laughs> which is here. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokemon called Cresselia? I do. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Oh, it's time. For what? Cresselia is said to be the very embodiment of the Crescent Moon. Her feathers are called Lunar Feathers, and legend says it, it that if you hold... One, as you fall asleep, you will be visited by wondrous dreams. Best line in the game coming up. Well, I'll call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She descended upon the Mewfune area and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about the electrode, I can't even sleep, never mind dream. 
Think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers? Sure. Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. <laughs> pesky flying croissant. Do it for my poor electrode. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad if she at least recognized the perfection of the area. Pesky flying croissant. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, she at least recognized the perfection of the area, looked after with loving care by the great Mally. I was fucking howling. <laughs> of course you were, of course you were. Again, didn't save beforehand, which is kind of dumb. Oh, it... The frick? Cresselia, you psychic bitch. Should have uh, attacked from behind, honestly. <clears throat> Thunderfang should be fine. Regular one, at least. Yeah, you psychic. How dare you kill my surge! Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, it's pure psychic, right, Cresselia? Hit it with an Agile. Oh, map. Does Cresselia have. Cover, that's the question. Moon Blast. Cured from paralysis. Oh, that sucks. Well, let's hope for a bit of luck. Hope Mega Evolution comes out in the DLC. We haven't actually heard anything about the DLC yet, right? Just some uh, speculations, just for a chance to show Melly Mega Salamence. No, nothing official. The dread plate. Why the fuck do you get a dark type plate from Cresselia? Oh well, this is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got this kind of plate. I do feel power. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Cresselia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need of them. Not bad. It's not bad at all, Grunt. Though, I suppose anyone with enough luck to best the Great Melly should be able to handle at least that much. Think about it. A halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help my lord and I grow stronger still. I will go back to the settlement and tell the others about the fetters that we didn't get. Okay, two more hints left. Uh, let's see, where's the moon? Yeah, okay, so we're on 16 now. <sighs> this puts us on one. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
five. Uh, six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay, that should be the correct moon phase. I hate that you can't instantly see the moon when you like, uh, when it becomes night. I mean, it makes sense, sort of, but I still hate it. Wait, where the fuck is my mission? The fairies moonlit dance. I'm curious about the DLC. Yeah, full. If you have a peat block, you can put an Ursa ring in your party and check to see. Oh, yeah. I do have another one, I think at least. But I'm too lazy for that shenanigans. Investigate. Wait, are these all different sized Clefairy? Pee pee! Uh, just the one to the left is only small. They go uphill. Pee? Ooh, they dropped something. Gimme, gimme, ya, ya, da, da. A moonstone. Lucky us. Okay, that clears up everything over here. Can you actually set the Pokemons we caught? To the right area. Wait, where's Darkrai? Oh, here. Thank Jesus. Almost had a light heart attack there. Okay! Let's move. Professor! Get me the flying fuck out of here! Return to the village. <sighs> okay, uh, we got a few quests to deliver. Also inside, and you were inside as well. Um, you got nothing new? Well, suck it, bitch. 
I guess she's gonna disappear again to, uh, in the Alabaster Icelands, right? If I'd had to guess. It seems as if there's nothing you can't find. I'm always thanking you, but thanks again. There's simply no doubting in your abilities. And I heard from Wanda you, how you reassured her, telling you, telling her your teammates and all. She even started calling you her senior. Savior. Senior? I can't read it, apparently. It really means a lot to her to be accepted by someone like you. And as her big brother, I appreciate you keeping her safe too, of course. I know that she can be a real scatterbrain, so I'm glad she got you looking out for her. Well, as much as she is a scatterbrain, she's also, well... Kinda just unlucky. I mean, who the fuck gets blasted off a mountain with gust? I order two... Nice. Oh, so you say the Clefairy dances here in the land of Hisui too? They must have been adorable to behold. I must go and see them one day, one of these days. Jesus. Thank you for looking into that for me. I'm excited to see what you'll accomplish next. XP candy. I guess I need to go in and out real quick. To unlock the other quests, right? Yep. Yep! <sighs> now, here's the boy I was hoping for. One that's constant savior, Yordi. I'm afraid the day has finally come. This time, one that couldn't even find her way back from the Obsidian Fieldlands. Right? on our own doorstep. It's practically our own backyard, right? She should know her way around, so I'm worried that something might have happened to her. Really appreciate some help from you and that Ursaluna. Use the scent from one that's regular old, old kerchief and search for her, please. This is not even... This is not even the Alaba... <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Unbelievable. Even I am surprised by that one. Oh, <sighs> well, at least I know how to find her now, sort of. Instead of the very first time where I, like, didn't have a single clue. Uh, that's so funny. That's so funny! Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Now, what would be an annoying place to come back from? Probably around the Snorlax, maybe. And if not, we probably best be checking out the... The island. And then probably where the Clefairy is could also be a good point to check. Nothing. Anything? Oh, my camera 
I just fucked. My camera is having issues. Hey, another black aggarite. Okay, so not here. Being chased by Lucio, so we're just gonna bail. Um, Ice Camp. Okay, she's around here somewhere. Is she up there? down. Oh. oh, there she is. Oh, she's being attacked by Paris. That is, uh... Yeah, help, oh, please, I don't want to sprout mushrooms. Paris! Thing. Level 50 Paris, though. Impressive. Energy Ball. Excitement just to be met with immediate disappointment. <laughs> oh god, what happened, Sush? <laughs> Thank you, I swear I never survived here in Hisui with you without you as a teammate. Can't patrol because I know some of the villagers come out here to hunt for mushrooms. Meanwhile, can I doubt for them? I ended up hunting around a bit myself for some finds, but the mushrooms ended up hunting me. I found Nebby in Unbound. But I can't get them till post game. What? Nebby? Okay, now, now you gotta help me out here. What the hell is Nebby? But you're so good at battling, probably even better suited to, to the security corpse than I am. Better report back to Zeke. Wait, am I being targeted? But oh, I was about to say. Cold smoke. Oh. Well, honestly, this is something you should expect, right? When you, uh... That you can only get Cold Smoke a legendary post-game. Thank you for saving one day yet again. I'm so glad we've got Survey Corps to rely on. I was chilled to my marrow when I heard my sister was caught up in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could just get herself assigned to patrol in the village for a while, nice and safe. Is that it? There's no more... Uh... I mean, she gets lost in every area. She has to be getting... Yeah, okay, fucking figured. In the Icelands as well. One that snuck out of the village without telling me and she hasn't come back. Or she was all bundled up again the cold too, so I've got this sneaky suspicion she went to Alabaster Icelands. Oh, speak to the nurse, okay. 
Whatever sent her out there, it doesn't seem like it was an assignment from the Survey Corps. What else could make her want to go to such a dangerous place alone? It really needs some help again from you and that Ursaluna. Use the scent and find her. Use the scent! Wait. Oh god, now we gotta find them both. My savior, I was looking for you, you know. Why are you here? What? My brother went to the Alabaster Island? Zeke? That brother? The one who refused to even set foot outside the village since he got attacked by some shinks and totally traumatized? We've got to find him at once. Please, savior, you've got to help me one more time. I can't believe it went like that. That is fucking hilarious. Nurse, what's up? Medicine worked. Buck is back to working chopping trees, apparently feeling better than ever. The Krogunk here has been working hard, making nice with everyone. Oh, wait, what? It says there's a quest here. I don't need to leave and come back. You gotta listen to the Sushmeister. He knows everything. Hello again. Would you do me a quick little favor? Sure, what is it? Don't worry, it's very simple. Could you bring me a hundred medicinal leaks? Uh... What? These leeks are well known, grown perfectly over the region. They're also called Wayfarer's Friends. Knowing you, I bet you could gather a hundred of them in your sleep. Once you have a hundred medicinal leaves you can spare for me, please bring them to me. A hundred, though. Uh, I gotta check my stash. I think I used all my medicinal leaks recently. Uh, 65. Pretty sure one of you guys sells medicinal leaks, right? Yeah, I got 65, so I need 35. I got 470k money anyways. Well guys, now you know about that. You already would have definitely skipped over that one. You handed over 100 medicinal leaks. Oh, what a fine leaks. What fine leaks. This will be enough to make plenty of medicine. I'm always running out. What's with our constant stream of injured colleagues? This way, the Medicinal Corp can prepare a nice stock for the folks who can't craft their own medicine like you can. But sell is easy errand. Oh, we get an Adamant and Moldus Mint from her. What the fuck? That is kind of fire, not gonna lie. <clears throat> the Alabaster Icelands. That is legit the last area that I needed to go to for side questing. Because after I beat the game, I hadn't actually done much side questing anymore. Um. So that entire area. You sh the other areas are somewhat cleaned up, but this area is not cleaned up at all. Yeah. And probably the least troublesome. Okay, who are you? What did you want again? I've been waiting for you, Survey Corps recruit. I want to give you my thanks to my thanks to a certain Blissey that aided me when I was left injured by the wild Pokemon. Meowth, find it, would you? 
was a wild Pokemon that hurt me and was a wild Pokemon that helped me. It's a curious world we live in, wouldn't you say? But even the Pokemon... One must always give thanks to for the care one receives. Be ashamed of my corpse if I fail to do even that much. Join me in Avon Lug's legacy here in Alabaster, Iceland. That's where I met that Blissey. Okay, meet up with Pipa. Aloha. You are gonna do the... Ah, just the person I was waiting for. My K.O. K.O. wandered off to go play, but they haven't come back yet. Do you think you could help me find them? You mean Vulpix? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Back home in the Lola, Vulpix were called K.O. K.O., you see. Can Can! Oh, it's already back. Hmm? Did you not go play with the rest? This is what an Alolan Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them all just by myself would take ages. Still missing five of them. You should be able to find my Vulpix playing around the avalanche slopes. Could you find them all and tell me to come back? Okay, wait, we actually... There's probably some easy way for me to do this without actually having to look for them. Alabaster Icelands. Hide all. Onverse. Alphas. Legendary. Okay, I take it back. That's not the case. Well, guess we're gonna hunt. Guess we gotta hunt! Um, missions. Place of the Lake, Snow Point Temple. Gone astray. Berg, my enthusiast. Trace of a lost village. Let me see, this is there. Swine up. Oh. Oh. No, this is probably easier for me to keep track of. There. Art Craig. A new request. That's not really what I like seeing, to be fair, but sure. And Bergmine Enthusiast is also that way. Okay. Um Gus Lee. Swine up. Hey, Ulfa Gasly. Glad to see you all the way out here. I've been waiting patiently with the request. Spot of mushroom hunting, blah blah blah, Craig. This is where your skills come in. Catch yourself, swine up, take it out foraging, and see if you can find those mushrooms. Wait, I need to go find the mushrooms with a swine up. You son of a bitch. Couldn't you have just told me that, like... I had an alpha swine up. Wait, do I need to do that with a swine up actually? Yes, fuck. Can I not use my memo swine? It's cuter and bigger and fluffier. You complete the Bergmite entry? 
oh, what to do? I want to look, but then I don't want to look. And fine, I'll have a look. Huh, I see. No way. Really? Whoa, I didn't know that. You did a good job. I practically liked... Uh, I particularly liked how you made a note of Bergmite's height and weight. This answer shows that you took the time to get to know many Bergmite and studied them with a passion. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I knew everything you wrote already, of course. But it's true. I'm the one who knows all there is to know about Bergmite, after all. But I did enjoy reading the entry you made about Bergmite. Its entry in your book might be complete, but I hope you spend more time studying Bergmite. Grit pedal. Oh wait, Elida, of course. That's the new request. So that we can uh, origin form Polkia. That's fine. Hello, Yordi. I was just about to go find you and tell you about this precious, incredible, precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? I'm curious. As you should be. There isn't a single person in the vast Hisui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. But anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want to do? You want to battle. You want to have a battle in the sheets. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, with our Pokémon. Mm, yeah. Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours. Like what you did atop Mount Coronet. Now give me one moment. I need to center myself. My partners and I are going to get stronger and travel all across this wide world. Yeah, yeah, it does it. Okay, so I guess you have three evolutions as well. Espion, Glacion, and Flareon. I'm gonna take out the Flareon. The Thunderfang. Wish I had Firefang on. Right now. Quick attack. Baby doll eyes. Rude. Rude. Ice beam. Rude. Wow. They're literally destroying Surge like it's nobody's goddamn business. Um, you know what? Let's send in the Yoga. Origin form! Didn't actually get to look at him yet. Look at this boy over here. Baby doll eyes. Flash cannon! Oh, it survived. F. Flash cannon! I read that. I read a few people don't like the origin forms, but I'm. really like the origin forms. The irony. of time destroy this puny 32 espion what is the irony sushi beating up the pearl clan with the diamonds almighty sino then you out in the world with pokemon stronger than yours i'll just have to find out for myself i suppose here the treasure i promised Yeah. 
It somehow connects to the old mighty, I mean, mighty Pokia, I mean. And since Mighty Pokia is with you now, I'll entrust the Lusura's globe to you, too. Thank you, Yardi, for everything. Okay, um... Obviously, we're gonna make Pokia go into his origin form as well. Okay, uh, one, two, and three. Let's go this way real quick. Grab a stupid swine up. So that we can do the swine up searching. I want to see my Pokemon. Mama Swine. Sorry, buddy. Oh, did you know their move has different stats depending on their form? Their moves have different stats? No. Cool. I guess. I should have more swine ups, right? Search. Swine up. Here. I got a buttload of them. Okay. Uh, let me have a look. Close by, by chance? No? Okay, it's not... Hey, a random Avalok spawns. Two, actually. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got to have this one. Bergmite. What do you like, honey? Alpha Bergmite? Heck fucking yes. Now, how am I going to find these mushrooms? Am I supposed to just uh, chug the swine up everywhere? Mushrooms buried in the snow. Okay, buried in the snow. So we need to go search for snow heaps. Oh, oops. Oh. Now we're just supposed to run around with it in the party. Okay. 
Good to know. And another one down. Watch out for the Ulfa Gardevoir. Okay, that's the last one. <sighs> oh no, Snowvern! Here I thought that was the last one, sad. Destroy. You what now, Snowvern? <laughs> what now? It's not Misty or anything. It's 85 accuracy. Come on, Bulky, yeah, you can do this. Ah, uh -huh, spatial rent. Wait, I thought Spatial Rent and Roar of Time uh, made you need to recover. Apparently not. Last Mushroom. We You should just take this uh, swine up, mate. There's no recovery moves in this game. Wait, really? Now I feel kind of dumb. Uh, Trace of Lost Village, Fopix in the Snow, Alabaster Icelands. Uh, meet with Pipa. That one is pretty close by, right? Yeah. There is no recovery moves in this game. I feel cheated. <laughs> uh, where are you, Mem Swine? What? I thought they did! God damn it! And I've been not using those moves to their full capacity. I'm insanely disappointed. Sneezler, fuck off. Or Sneasel. Have a look. Any uh, blue? Oh, blue. Well, we're first gonna go find the dipshits. Oh, please don't tell. Oh, okay, you're down there. Oh, you. You can. You and Sneezler get me back up there. That is an alpha. Wait, do I have one of these already? Good 
Glalie. Uh, let's go try and catch this Glalie, actually. I don't think I have an Ulfa Glalie yet. Ow, that is not very good. Good job, Surge. I just realized that I'm running around with three Dragon types in my team. Not sure if that is a very good idea. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna throw Pokeball at it. It's only 64. It's not a legendary. Crap. Let's see one full swipe. Paralyzing can't move. Damn it, Glalie, get in the ball. Good job, Draco. One more. He's in the red. Paralyzed. Oh no, the paralyzed gone. And Surge is dead. Okay, we got him. Yeah, about that. Did you save my brother, my trusty savior? Wait, wait, you mean one that was final along? Oh, 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 good. Now I can pass out in relief. Sorry I made you worry. Never mind that. Are you thinking going to a place like the Iceland without telling me? Oh, well, the fact is, the fact is I came here for this. Ice stone. I came to find that stone so I could give it to my savior. I was told it was pretty rare, so I thought maybe it could help you with your survey work. Give me that sad look, Zeke. Of course I got you one too. I really owe you both so much, my savior and the one who's always sending him after me. I'm going to keep working hard to become a great security crop corps. Crops, sure, crops member. Corps member to pay you two back for everything you've done for me. Come on, bro, let's head back home. I've gotten really strong with all my adventures. I'm sure I can get you back to the village safe. Really glad to hear you think so, Wanda, but the village that way. I knew that! <laughs> I think Wanda's still going to need you to look out for her for a little while yet. Or more like a long while, a really long while. Are you saying I should marry your uh, sister? Is that what you're saying, sir? <sighs> I'm fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. okay, now that one is done. So you've come to help me search out Blissey, have you? It was around here that I met it, but I don't see it now. When did you meet it? Let me think as I recall, when I'd been out here for a while, I simply turned around and there was an Abam snow. Much like that! <laughs> and there was an Abam snow! Yeah, just like that one! <laughs> Fucking clutch. A spatial rent. Kill it. Poke, yeah, you got this. Oh. 
That was a crit and didn't even kill? What the frick? Color me disappointed. It's quite as I thought. Blissey may be the one thing, but other Pokemon are still terrifying. Oh. Oh. It seems to manage to twist my ankle in all the excitement. Bliss! There it is again. What, Blissey? Blissey! This is a bit of fortune and misfortune. Brought these berries to thank you for your help before, Blissey. Here you go. Blissey! Snow. Blissey is terribly kind, isn't it? It treats anyone who needs its help, be they human or Pokemon. Yep. Okay, that's another one down. Let's see. Uh, trace of a lost village. And... The Philpixis. He said something about the avalanche slopes, right? Another Alpha Swinub. An Elekid. Damn, there are many Alphas sometimes in this game. An Eevee. Yeah, I actually noticed that. Hmm. I didn't know Happinis could spawn here as well. Was I done with all my Happini shenanigans? Without you being spotted. No, not yet. You don't see me. Oh, you do. Hmm. Sad. Truth. Avalanche slopes. Oh. Okay, now where are these stupid ass Vulpixes? Oh, another Blissey. Blissey, so I can hit you on the back of the head. 
No, not that way. That way. I just Dragon Claw twice. Or once. Critical hit. Oval Stone, Grid Petal. Okay, where are these fucking Vilpixes? I didn't realize Gabite spawned here as well. Oh, there's one. Gone! Snowfield Camp. I've been playing too much, uh, what's it called? Dying Light, so I keep pressing my uh, R3 button to... Uh... Oh, wow. He actually starts... Rude. Uh, to, like, spot not very visible things. But uh, that doesn't work in this game. <laughs> Could they be hidden underneath these ice thingies? No. Okay, it was worth a shot. Oh, there's one. It's number two. Can? See another one. Wondering if they can be in the hole down there as well. Probably. In. I wonder if the Alolan Vulpixes will spawn now after the quest. That you could technically grind them for... Uh... What's it called again? Alo uh, alpha version. And I have to guess I need to go into the hole. Into the a hole.
Honestly, not too surprising. I thought that was the Vulpix, but it's not. Huh. Okay, not here. I still need one, right? Not crazy. Yeah, I still need one. Oompa loompa dee 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 doom. Dee doo dee doo dee dee doo doo. Oompa Loompa Hi, bye. It's the Sills. No, there's Icebound Falls. Electabuzz. Oh, crap. Go look for it in a little bit. Riolus. Um. Trace of Lost Village. Oh, that way. Never mind. Yeah. Lucaria, Lucaria, Lucario Alpha. Goodbye, Lucario Alpha. I wonder if the Vulpix could be up here. Nope. Everything went black. I just lost a lot. Well, if anyone sees me in the Alabaster uh, Highlands, a satchel of mine, Feel uh, free uh, to grab it. Oh man, I really should have just stashed all of my shit. Oopsie. Guess I gotta be honest, I don't like the falling damage.
Gotta look at places where I haven't looked yet. But I feel like I looked everywhere. Oh bullshit. I just ran past this one like it's nobody's goddamn business. Okay. <clears throat> Got all the vault pixies. Okay. Now let's go to the other area. Emotional damage. Traces of a lost... Fuck. How does that lead me to these guys here? He's like, I need to pick this up, but the scary human. Torn journal. An old stamp out diary in traditional style. It has been torn and is missing the latter half of its pages. February 5th. I was on my way back to the village when a blizzard blew, blew in. I decided to take refugee for the night in one of the mountain huts. I woke at dawn due to some noise. Before me stood a duddle duddle arbed in fine kimono. Our eyes met and dot dot beauty stole the breath from my breast, yet it terribly beauty, frightened to behold. Caught my eyes in terror, waited for the blah blah. The rest of the pages are missing. Trace of the village said to have been located at the avalanche slopes in the Alabaster Islands. Frostlass! Go, Drago! Draco! Shadow Claw. Seem to have dropped something. Bundle of pages without any cover. It looks like they would fit into the gap of the journal found earlier. You obtain an old journal. The rest of the pages seem to detail the writer's life in the village, which sounds like it might have been the Alabaster Islands. September 1, it's hard to believe it's been years now since and I began living together in the Lara Ledge. I was flipped through my old journal entries today and happened to remind of the I met once. In an odd way, it reminds me of the that I met that day, but I remind myself that I live in the real world, not in a old fairy tales. Certainly such things can't be true. Why did I do it? Why do I have to remember that? Why speak of to my dear? I regret so much. It's too late for regret now. It's gone. I have lost forever. I know it's disappeared. Leave behind nothing but the driven snow. Oh, well, why did I speak of it? If only I... Had held my tongue, kept my silence, I wouldn't have ever been to know such grief. That was the last entry in the journal. You better return to Jubilee Village and show the old journal to the merchant Mani. 
But first, we deliver <clears throat> another quest to you. Look at all the fucking dope. Thanks for helping me search for them. They are all back safe and sound. You're welcome. XL Candy. <sighs> well, this one seems to be have taken a liking to you. If it's alright with you, could you take this little one with you? I'm certain it'll be a help with your survey work. You received Vulpix. Okay, let me actually go check on my Pokemon. Because this one needs to be with the hard to catch bastards. This is the Glalie that we caught. Now the Bergmite has already moved. I think that's it, right? It didn't really catch any different Pokemons. Okay, on to Lake of Suiti. To catch ourselves another lake Pokemon. Everyone is healed up. Goodness. Yuxi! Kyun! Okay. First, Thunder Wave. Oh, fuck, I forgot to save. Defensive stats were raised. Uh, that must mean that I can just thunder fang him, right? Without killing. Good. Extra sensory. Yikes. Critical hit. Pokemon. Uh, not risking it, so we're gonna do agile style dragon fang. I'm 25 levels higher than this one. Oh wait, I forgot that you guys have recover. That's why I originally didn't do that. Okay, caught it. You got the Draco plate. Knowing what Frostlass is based on, I really enjoyed that quest. Yeah. Understandable, understandable. It's a fun quest for sure. Okay, we caught Yuxi, we got the Draco plate. Nope. I still haven't find out, figured out how to change this image here from at the start of the game.
Okay. You can't. What the fuck? Talk about huge ass oversight. Break the seal, right? Can I do anything with these? Rock. Ice. Nothing. Plate of Snow Point Temple. Now I gotta figure out how to get from point. Oh! Didn't even notice this here. Wouldn't have expected to run up, run into you up here, Yordi. What are you up to? You're here trying to find the secrets lurking in Snowpoint Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance told me. You do tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange going on, Yordi. This door here, well, they say behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. The stone plates, iron plates, and icicle plates you carry are uh, reacting to the door. Let's go say hi to Regigigos. I know that there is uh, a new uh, Pokemon of the Weather Trio in here from Tornadus, Landorus, and Thunderous. In this game, as a new legendary, which is kind of cool. How many Pokemon have we? 35. What in time is that thing? It's colossal. It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Yep, definitely a Pokemon. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. Cool. Let me uh, save. Before I accidentally kill it. Or get killed and lose more loot. Zoot zoot! Regigigas is slow with the get go. Um. Okay, it doesn't really boost my speed, so we're just gonna... Crush Grip. Holy fuck. Thunderfang. Paralyzed in my... Wait. He just moved twice! The motherfucker! Good. Now just start chucking Ultra Balls at this motherfucker. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Reggie fucking Gigas.
59. He obtained the blank slate plate. I feel so bad for Reggie Gigas now that one saw Pokemon like a giant born of the very earth. I guess this is part of your job with Survey Corps, huh? In game with no abilities, he still has slow starts. So fucking true. What kind of Pokemon is the one you just caught, Jordy? Hmm, can't wait to see in the Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up too. See, Jordy, we should do another chase sometime. Okay, so we caught all the plates. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we need to go do Giratina still. Reason why I know this is because I got spoilered. And I know that we need 237 Pokemon. I like that the Coronet Highlands is completely done. How the fuck is the Coronet Highlands completely done? Cresselia is still only at four. You know what? I'm not going to uh, think about it. Hey, SQ, how are you doing? Sorry for the late response. Lost in thought as you already can be. Baka. Okay. Uh, first back to town. Viridian City. Um, you can see, let me set this Glemio over here so I don't have to deal with having to find it in the big mess that is all the Pokemon that I have. Okay. Um... Professor, Professor! Yeah, okay. Got not that many Pokemon caught, but that's fine. Return to the village! Yeah, there's uh, one quest there to deliver. And I think... That puts us on everything finished. At least I think. But we'll see that in a bit. Uh, where the fuck? Money, 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 the puta money, the puta money. Just saying random shit, guys. Don't heed me, no mind. I heed me. Da boo 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 boo. Oh, this guy. With the, the second shadow last time. 
Did you find any traces of a settlement that might once have been around that avalanche slope? Yes. You run around in your satchel, but you can't seem to find the old journal you picked up. Wait, what? What? You say you found an old journal, but now it's gone? And you got it from a Pokemon? Well, don't leave me in suspense. Well, what in the world did it say? Lines up exactly with stories I've heard from my old gran about the village. Which means that it's true, my ancestors really did come from a village that once existed here. You have no idea how many years I've wondered if I could believe those old tales or not. I really owe you a great deal for looking into this for me and clearing up my doubts. You're welcome, brother. But you still have to wonder, why would the Pokémon be carrying an old journal that once belonged to a human? And you say it disappeared? I almost wonder if somehow it returned that to that Pokémon again. Spooky, scary skeletons. Sushi! Are you still here? I ask question. 100% guaranteed shiny from mass outbreaks. Uh, do you by chance happen to know what these fucking pages are for? These, the old verses. Ninety percent sure they're just lore. Okay. Who the fuck wants lore? So people have figured out how to get 100% shiny now with uh, Legends Arceus in uh, Outbreaks, by the way, Sush. Which is kind of ridiculous. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Of course, you already use a fame member of the Survey Corps, after all. So, what more can you tell us? We're so close now, you must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three lugs will do. I need to pee. Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Well, suppose that's what we've got to learn next. Hop to it, Jordi. Well, it shames me to admit, merchant, that I am. I quite, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Well, if uh, she allows me to just go to my stash, I will bring some wood. I also got some wood in my pants, but that's not the wood you need. <laughs> you gathered the three logs I requested last one, yes. Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do it. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering. Fair, this wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. Cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates were, af were after our dinner plates, so this is hardly time for cooking. Oh, you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Gin Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, Yordi. A reward for the wood you've brought me. You received the pixie plate. That's one of the plates we were looking for! <laughs> Ahem, apologies. That indeed's one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm, this does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. Well, the carvings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. 
Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? We managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now, but I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica ruins. Those ruins contain statues of both Yalga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. Find pretext to continue shirking your uh, mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. Celestica Runes it is. That is on Mount Coronet, right? Go now. Celestica Runes. I'm curious myself what you find. What can we, who live now, learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? Shooby dooby doo wop wam. I wish we'd get something interesting for getting all the verses, though. They are, after all, quite a hassle to find. Hi, Voltorb. Hi, Voltorb. Have a look at this, Jordi. Ooh, is that Garatina's statue? The statue has been kept here, far from the statues of the Ogon Pokia, broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so. Of course you do. You're the greatest wielder of Pokémon this land knows. The one who could bring low... E even the Yoga and Palkia. It's hoping that we would get something like the verses, and uh, once we got them all, we could use them as a clue for a legendary. Yeah, that would have been dope. This crumbled statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both the Yoga and Palkia, yet vanished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina. It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the, verse, the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? Mount Coronet. Exactly, where one is close to the heavens than any other place in Hisui, and where a space-time rift first opened. <laughs> I can feel it. We are getting closer to the uncovering the secrets. Clo we are getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say, the excitement is loosening my lips more than I should. But you see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And, that, and what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, in ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. And with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Now, if we can find the, real, the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world and meets the creator's unwanted child, vanished therein. Perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of the almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Coronet's Peak. Young and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that opened, that once kept open there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that it's where it would be. 
appearing where it would appear. Jesus English. Uh, they're just a regular Rotom, right? Kill it. Kill it! I thought... I still don't know what's gonna appear out of the cave. That is a third cave in um, Coastlands. I figured we'd like get something so far. But if um, Giratina appears on top of the mountain here. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick BRB to grab something to drink and to go to the toilet. Have you been inside the cave? Yeah, I've been inside there. There was nothing. Temple lies in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken like pillars now turned into spears, stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm, is something bothering you? Ah, I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had it tear open the rift. Oh, tear open that rift in space and time. After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. Wait, he was the one? Wait, what? So then I had you gather the fragments of the all encompass encompassing deity just as the murals of the runes directed. Eighteen plates said to be fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering where's the last one? It's right here. <gasps> Pull twist, Volo was the evil mastermind. Are? Wow, look at that hairdo! Now hand over the plates you've gathered. I will be the one to bring them all together. Genuinely, this whole game, my desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. 
generally this whole game, I thought he was Arceus. I mean, look at his hair. Don't they resemble each other very well? <laughs> if I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power, and using that, I will attempt to create a new world. A better world! Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hsuyu region that we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokémon living here will vanish in an instant, as if you'd never been. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice, even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not about I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Pokemon Wielder Volo wishes to battle. Okay, I need to know what level his Pokemon are. Spiritomb. Oh, how typical he starts off with a fucking Spiritomb. I thought it was some sort of form he took to keep an eye on us. Hmm. Pull those. Back Togekiss. Roserade, use spikes. <laughs> Holy shit! Crit and super effective? <sighs> Garchomp. Uh, okay, there goes search. Again, no experience points. I was on level for this fight. <laughs> on level? What the fuck are you talking about? Who needs to be on level for fights? Crap. Let's try it again. 75% accuracy? Cario. Bullet punch. Not very effective. He's bulk up. Ooh. Scary. Let's see what kind of attacks do we have. Let's just blast him. Ah, fuck, it still lives. Holo use of full restore root. Close combat. Yeah, I saw that coming. Um. I think we'll go for Mama Swine. First Agile. Fuck. Really? Sorry, Mama Swine. Three Pokemon left. I also have three Pokemon left, of which one is actually weak. Oh wait, Togekiss. Togekiss is not that bad. 
he, he was already almost dead. Let's go for 100% accuracy here. Arc 9! Walk slide. Does that kill? Fuck. Otherwise, I could have used uh, a water move. I still got bulldoze. <coughs> and Almighty is just gonna be our uh, little uh, sack here to heal Draco. Immediate sweats. <laughs> Nah. Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? Because he's the one that summoned me, bitch! Get on my level! Why? How? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest to study it. All the time I spent poring over the legends, everything that I've done. You, outsider. It's almost as if you were spat out of space-time rift just to get in my way. I, I mean, I was. That was literally the reason why. <clears throat> How hard this fight was, though. Yeah, true. No. No, this isn't finished yet. Can you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins? The eldritch presence icing your heart? There's uh, Giratina. Oh, Gertina looks fucking fire, though. This cutscene? Gertina, strike him down! Gertina can't touch me. Wait, Giratina's other form is also called Origin Form, right? Oh, wait. Uh, do we... Catch it? Dragon Claw. Oh, you have no choice but to win this battle. Okay. Uh, level 70... How... Okay, Agile... This is origin form, the other one is altered form. Okay. And then strong style. Uh oh. <laughs> no way, fam! <laughs> you were defeated in battle, try again with a stronger team of Pokemon. Okay, give me a sec. I've done pretty much all the side quests now, anyways. And the Pokemon that I need to keep are... Okay. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. That was uh, kind of rough. Return to the village. You need to send out Gengar when... Just to sacrifice him. Yeah, I know. Um, but I want to be full HP. But I'm gonna go grab another Pokemon instead of Gengar. Gengar is just too low level and I can't really do anything with it. <clears throat> Wait, I have two Alpha... 
Why do I have two Alpha Mammoth Swines? Uh, I need to change the team up a little bit because having three Dragon types on my team is not gonna do me anything. Uh, Almighty can go as well. So now before anything else, all these are going to be released. Can I... No, can't do that from here. Okay. We got alphas of you. Do I still have an Arcanine? I mean, I can technically hunt Arcanine now because we know the... Yeah. Yeah. Everything is just gonna go away. If it's not in my other list, then it just goes. Fion, yep, rare specimen. I really couldn't care less. Rotom. That feels so good that I can now empty this because I did all the side quests. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna get rid of these Pokemon because I might need them and I might need them to get. Uh, to level 10 and above on research uh, rank. But now that that is all finished and done, I can just get fucking rid of these. Not shiny, not alpha. No need to stick around. Wait, you're an alpha. I already had one. Wait. Oh no, this is just a random decidio eye that I can't. This uh, random gabite that was alpha that I caught. You guys were not any different, so you can just go. I did the same after making my living decks and box. Decks and the box for all my alphas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna make a living decks. If I am gonna make a living decks, it might be a living decks of pure alphas. But other than that. Okay. Um, all pastures. I want to bring. Everything is slightly too low level still, though, which is kind of annoying. The Duke is too low. Alakazam. Lucario can come along. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> yes, let's bring this uh, Alpha Eevee that is 68. <laughs> um... 68 Breveria might be a good one. Alpha. Electrive. We already got an electric type in Surge, though, so we don't need that. Uh, where is Lizzie? A ghost type. Ice type. I do need to give her a ghost type move, though. Angry Lizzie. 
Gallade, Psychic, Close Combat. It's five levels higher than Lucario. Steel Fighting. I think I'm gonna go with Gallade over Lucario. One more slot left. Bringing a ground flying type? Or should I bring Shaman? Because Shaman is fucking kawaii. How do we transform Shaman? Uh, that might be a reason to not bring Shaman. Oh, we also have Sepapi. Oh, wait, do I want Sepapi over Lizzie? Pure Ghost against Pure uh, Ice Ghost. Uh, I guess we're just bringing Gliscor. A uh, Grey Cydia Flower, okay. Cool. I think this is the team that we're gonna bring. Hey, Yordi, the Pokemon you released just left a little something behind for you. Grit Gravel, Grit Rocks, Grit Petals, Grit Dust. Okay. And go grab all my Grit. the grit. Big, yeah. Um... Where the fuck is it? <laughs> you blind fool! Oh, here it is. I only got 15 rocks. <clears throat> Move all at once. Move all at once. All at once. Okay. Um, we have a look at everyone's stats or abilities right now. Change moves. Dragon Claw, Shadow Claw, Bulldoze. We are physical. Wait, Outrage? Oh yeah, why did I get rid of Outrage again? Uh, because it wasn't what... Mm, it's only one extra power. And it has higher chance of missing, that's why. Draco Meteor lowers our stats. BB. Aqua Tail. I think I'm just gonna go in with Fire Fang over our False Swipe. Change moves. Ice Fang, Thunder Wave, Thunder Fang. Giga Impact. We're gonna go with Fire Fang and... I don't know exact numbers. Oh, forgot to do some... But don't forget you fixate on Outrage. That's even more power. Yeah, true, but... Uh, in the current battle, we won't last that long anyways. Wild Charge, Gallade. We got Ice Punch, Close Combat, Leaf Blade, and Psychic. Should be fine. Yeah. Bravaria. Special, right? We're not gonna use Brave Burns. 
Mm. Uh, maybe I am going to use Brave Bird. Doesn't have that much moves yet, but can check if I can give buy anything new. Lizzie has Psychic Blizzard, Ice Crash, and Crunch. Shadow Ball. We'll see if we can teach Lizzie some new moves. <coughs> Light score check moves. Earth power, sword stance, poison jab. Can't get dazzling gleam, super chill. Um, I think we're just gonna go with slash over earth power. I have such a bad memory. Uh, I want to learn new moves. Yeah. Uh, for Gliscor checking. Fall Swipe, Thunderfang, Ice Fang, Rock Smash, Bulldoze. Stealth Rock. Uh, rock Slide. Iron Tail. These are okay though. Light score. Uh, do, 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 do. Glade. Thunderbolt. Stone Edge. Don't think that's necessary. Walk Slide. Big Scissor. Send Headbutt. Wait. Yeah, send headbutt over psychic, obviously. Give me this one and drain punch as well. Boom. Bravaria. Braviary. Call it Bravaria, but it's Braviary. <laughs> Mystical Fire. This, oh, this one, this one. Sure, I'll give it Hyper Beam. And Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind, very good. I got so much money. Money, money, money! Didn't even have Ominous Wind. Disappointed! Icy Wind, very nice. Ice Beam, didn't even have Ice Beam. What the fuck is your problem, game? Thunderbolt and Hyper Beam. Okay. Next. I've got a question. Oh, effort levels. Oh, you just need to use it yourself? Okay, I thought I needed to do that at hers. Okay, good to know. Um, Glide scores move set. Not earth power, but we are going with bulldoze. Yep. Change moves. Shadow ball is probably better. Yeah, but we are gonna use Ice Beam over Icicle Crash and Thunderbolt over Blizzard. Not gonna go for the risk that we miss Hardcore with Blizzard. Uh, we want... Dazzling Gleam 
And... Mystical Fire over Air Slash. And we're using Roost in case we need to heal up. Glade. Drain Punch over Close Combat. And Zen Headbutt over Psychic. And that's it. Surge was good. Draco was good. Okay. We want to improve HP. Oh, it's only one. Oh, that's chill. I thought I needed ten. Let's get everyone powered up. be decent if you don't want to be super OP. But I want to be super OP. I want to destroy everything! Feels like having perfect IVs, so I'm imagining level 5 6 would be having trained EVs as well. Nice. I wonder how they're gonna translate this back into uh, Pokemon Home. Level 5. 2, 3. 2, 3. What was the first Pokemon he sent out again? I don't remember. <clears throat> Spear Tomb. Okay. Because uh, I was uh, thinking which Pokemon I'm gonna like start off with. Starting with Draco and then him just swapping into fucking Togekiss to hit me with a, a fairy type move is not really what I'm looking forward to. Chill. Cool. I need more dragons. 
Uh, I need more dragons. Listen, if I was ever going to specialize in uh, typing, it's either electricity or it's dragons. Okay, I'm the only one that I'm gonna completely max out are probably Surge and Drago. Just purely because I can. They've been with me the longest so far. Been using them the most. If I ever feel like hunting a uh, shiny alpha. Garchompa will be replacing it, but only then. Plus, getting Garchomp to uh, freaking uh, perfect. Yeesh. It's gonna take a long time. Okay. Ninety nine exact. <sighs> Look at the HP of fucking. Rico there, mate. Okay, uh, one other thing. I know that Draco is already adamant, so I don't really have to worry about that. But what about Surge? I think we want Surge adamant as well, right? Do I have another adamant mint hidden? We're not gonna let stupid Garatina bully us anymore. Adamant. I have two. I'd say jolly for them both, but I'm a speed whore. Yeah, but uh, that's the point with Luxray. Luxray is not a very fast Pokemon. Garchomp is way faster than that Luxray is on its own anyways as well. But yeah, not really a fast type Pokemon if you look at the defenses and special attack and such. So I prefer just to go, if the speed doesn't really matter that much, then I'll just go into attack. True, true. <clears throat> but I just want to OTK, that's all I want. Just attack and kill. 
That's what we like to see. I'm just gonna use my stealthy ninja techniques and then hit him on the back of his head. Kill him. Okay, let's go again. Volo challenged you to a Pokemon battle. Okay, spare tomb. Um, let's just go do one sword dance. See what spare tomb can do. Hypnosis. But avoid it, super chill. Um, X scissor. And X scissor. Next! Roserade. Pedal dance. Light score avoided the attack. Good job, light score. Big scissor. Full restore. Let's just do it again. My offense returned to normal. Metal dance. K9 Raging Fury <laughs> Disappointed Bulldoze Glyscore is just gonna carry <laughs> Wow the difference between oh my lord calm mind Disgusting! Okay, poison jab, glide score. Agile style. Moon blast. You did fantastically, glide score, come back. Now it's time for Surge to finish off. Level 10 is super overkill. Oh, but Gliscor was only level 6. <laughs> Surge here is uh, the one with level 10. He doesn't get OTKs now anymore by uh, the car chomp. Ooh, nice. Frostbite. Uh-oh, missed. Fs. The Fs are real. Dragon Claw. There goes Surge. Oh, really? Just Dragon Claw again? If he'd actually gone for... Uh... The stompy stomps, he would have fucking blasted my ass there. Oh crap, I forgot that if he switches in, he's allowed to move first. Close combat. Surge, you've done a great job. Leave the rest up to Draco. Uldos!
Wow, who would have thought he was such a maniac? Okay, yeah, we've seen all this. Can we uh, skip? No? His hair is fucking impressive, though. Skip the movie. We've seen it already. Okay, this time we give zero shits. Let's just go for a regular one. I think that's good enough. Nope. Sag. Agile style Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw. Fuck you, Giratina. <clears throat> He's still alive. Oh shit, mate. Giratina unleashed its true strength. Send in Brave Variate. No! My Draco is way cool! He's level 95 and all stats are effort value 10. <laughs> he needs to destroy! That's exactly what I'd like to see. You finally beat Giratina. Excellent! <laughs> Turning tail and running from this puny human? Pathetic! I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus. I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open the space-time rift, driving the deity of space and time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding. How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any harm within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it then, that you find so lacking in me? You mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. Answer me then, Jordi. Do you have some dream that propels you as I have had? I do! The Shadow Force. I mean, I'm most likely gonna catch it, so I can see it then, right? So you do. Doubtless, that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I am the great wielder of Pokémon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokémon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dream you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that starred me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ends when I lost to you. You received the spooky plate. Spooky! Ah! Seeking the remaining plates. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates set to exist in the land of Hisui. Wow. The Celestial Flute transformed into the Azure Flute. So that, that's it. The Azure Flute. <laughs> it comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Ah, no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. 
and I absolutely cannot accept the world in which you would never would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon, and on that day I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it. No matter how many years or how many decades, how many centuries it may take me. The day fiat Pokemon. Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet. See, I still lack Pokemon though. The wormholes Giratina created to fight him and brought you through one to stop him. Lol. Funny. Uh, let me wait till nightfall. Oh. <clears throat> Search, do I need to find all the legendary Pokemon as well? Yordi, hey Yordi! What? Have you heard there's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in Cope the Coastlands and then just vanished without a trace? You already, my boy, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? I see. In that case, Shadow in the Cobalt Coastlands may not may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have been banished to the reverse side of our world. You believe this calls for a survey? Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. From the last four, need to be level 10. The last four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, Arceus is one as well. Mm. Are you sure they need to be level 10? Because I thought you called Arceus and hadn't get, uh, got them all yet to level 10. Sushi is 100% sure. Uh, it's only legendaries that are left anyways, so I just need them to uh, spam attacks a few times. Uda, 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 Ula, Bula, Bula. I have come for you once more, on Kiratina. You shall be my pet for the rest of eternity. Um. Save.
Oh, he doesn't do anything? Okay, now he does something. Was like, you're taking your fucking sweet ass time. You're Tina level 17, you Shadow Force. Holy shit, Shadow Force does look dope. I feel kind of bad that I had to see, uh... Mm. Garatina instantly kill, uh... My buddy here. Start with, uh, Agile style Shadow Ball, hoping not to kill it. Okay, that's good. Normal shadow ball. Thick. Okay, so regular Shadow Ball should do just fine. I agree, this game has very good animations for some moves. I do not disapprove. <laughs> uh, it just falls right through, sure. We're gonna use Breveria again as sacrifice. I don't wanna risk him getting OTK'd. Say I dislike his roar of time. I mean, Roar of Time doesn't really look like a Roar of Time. It just looks like a fucking blue Hyper Beam, yeah. They could have done a bit more with that. getting cucked. Bitch lasagna, bitch lasagna, look at me go, it is bitch lasagna. Nice. Two ultra balls. Ninety six. The Greasiest Core. Okay, let's move. Go here. Heal up my Pokemans. Go here. 
see my Pokemans. Um, Starts with Dark Cry, Shaman, Mesperit, Azelf, Yuxi, and Heathran. Giratina will put over here for the time being. Then we go here. Mystical power. We want to see him use Calm Mind. Agile or Strong Style. Level 3. Um, just use Agile Style, Calm Mind a few times with Mess Spirit. Recover and self-destruct. Huh. Okay. What else? Heathrin, Magma Storm is strong style, that's easy. And... Shaman is... wants to constantly die. <laughs> Uh, Seed Flare, Earth Power, Agile Style, and Strong Style. Dark Cry, Strong Style, and Dark Void. Uh, let me guess, it needs to be a certain time of day as well. Fuck my life. Mess Spirit. Recovery, Mystical Power. Let me put Calm Mind in here so that we can spam that. So that we can uh, get points on Recover. Azelf. Self Destruct. Rest. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yuxi was mystical power, hypnosis, swift, and calm mind. Etrin. Magma Storm. It's fine. Dark Void. Well, that's too bad because I am going to do them. Okay, let's start with Yuxi, because Yuxi is probably the easiest of this group right now. Call mind spam. Yeah.
Listen here, you little bitch. Stop hurting my poor Yuxi. I think 8th Call Mines should bring me 5th Green. Strong style. Mystic power! Okay, Drifloon dead. Use Strong Sion. Uh, let's see. Eight. Yep, yeah, nine. Ten. Recover Mystical Power. Strong Style. Already seen it use it twice. Very good to be fighting a drift loon here. Um, start with a strong style coal mines. <laughs> Let's see, two, so I need to do it six times. Drifloon, will you please attack? Thank you very much. Can use an adjunct style ball mind. Astonish, good enough. One. Damn it! <sighs> Fine, if that's how it's gonna be, suck my dick. Four, and uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ice. Let me just use one more mystical fire, and then we're done with you. And strong style. Mystical fire, mystical power, Yordi. Not fire. Fire in the hole! Okay. That's another one done. Next is Azalf. He's only on three. He needs to use eight self-destructs and a few strong styles and mystical powers. Well. Tangela. Boomy. That's one. Oh, hi, giant Drifloom. Throw uh, Azulf at an Eevee. Good, don't run away. Rest. 
Oh, I should use Strong or the other one. As Hope Drew draws in. Minion's guard up. He's swift. It's fine. I should be able to live a self destruct. Let me just do one more rest. Oh. That didn't really do what I had hoped. Yeah. Hey, Paul, you like fighting, right? Self-destruct! Crap. <laughs> hey, at least it counted. Magma Storm and Strong Style. I just need to use three. Cool. Combis. Do not run away, please. Okay, good. One. Magma Storm looks kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. And three. Three strong styles. One. Two. Heatrin done. Dark Cry. Dark Cry needs Dark Void and Strong Style and Shadow Bowl. Three strong style, three dark voids. Okay. One. Oh, cool. I thought it also dealt damage, but apparently it doesn't. Shit. 
strong style shadow ball. It's one strong style. Them. Oh. Strong style shadow ball. Strong style shadow bomb. Okay, that's dark right done. <laughs> yeah. On to Shaman. Shaman needed what again? Earth power, seed flare, and agile style. Okay. <laughs> Three seed flares. One. Two. Agile style earth powers. One. Pretty cool hit. Three. Okay, that's this set done. See my Pokemon. Dark Prime. Kiratina. You up? <clears throat> Let's see. Azelf wants to use as many self strikes as possible, so he kind of want to try to get to eight. Strong style moves, agile style moves as well. You got impact three times and three times strong style attacks. That finishes him. Cresselia with Moonar Blast and agile style should be finished on three. Garatina Shadow Force, spam 
six times. Plus, uh, yeah. And then two agile style moves. Okay. Not really a point in me attacking those guys. But these buffoons. Self destruct! Why would they let Azal do so many self destructs though? I don't see the point in it. Worth noting, there's a new request for you. Fuck! <laughs> in uh, Jubilee Village, I take. Uh, strong style, rest. In HQ. Yada yada, does a. Use agile style rest again. It heal. Twin beat follow, which sucks. Too drowsy to move. F. Is it a very annoying quest? Fucker just used double edge. F. Azov is down! He goes down! At least I got to use some Agile Styles. Not annoying, but needed. Okay. Agile Style Moon Blast number Uno. legit one of the worst areas to be doing this in. Because everything wants to run away. Okay, good. One more strong style moon blast. Run. Good. Hyper Sushi is playing Skyward Sword. Sushi, you're playing Skyward Sword? None that cool. Oh, it survived? What the frick? Yeah, but I don't wanna, like. I'm not. It is lies. Uh, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, I don't want to just keep moving between areas the entire time. I just want to finish it in one area and then, you know, go back to town and not have to fucking care about it. You know, the chill Lex way. Well, I only have to use one Shadow Force on Giratina. And one Agile Style. Super chill. I'm keeping an eye on you, Sushi. Just so you know. Just so you know, this feeling's taking control of me. And I can't hide it. Can't sit around again a little bit now. Thought you should know. Yes, McCartney! Oh my god, how long has that been since I listened to that? Giga Destroyer! Oh, that's the wrong game. That is Digimon. Hmm. 
<sighs> We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Crush grip. Age of Slash to unite. He's a menace. I believe that. Age of Slash has always been a menace. Grabla. Don't hit me. Sush, have you uh, had one of your items in this game reach the max yet? Okay, that is Regigigas done. Okay, Garatina, let's go. Let you have a look actually at your... I have, yeah. Noise. Physical, okay. Agile. That's different starts based on form too, nice. I like alternate form of Giratina best, though. Five. We've seen it twice. Puts me on seven. I think it's 100, 100. Okay. Uh, look at this Golic spamming fucking tax on my face. Are you kidding me? SQ! Yertina is going to die to fucking Alpha Golduck. Oh, how I am disappointed. Haha, <laughs> finally. SQ. Are you gonna run away again instantly like you did a few hours ago? Okay, how far was Azolf at this point again? We're on three. Two more. And I wanna see one Agile style move. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three. Six is nine. Okay, so I just need to use strong style moves and we're done. What happened to Dying Light? I, listen, SQ, nothing happened to Dying Light, but I've explained all my shit every single time. Did you let it die again? No. Listen, SQ, just because I'm not playing Dying Light right now doesn't mean we're done with Dying Light. I had completed the Pokedex so far, and I needed to finish the post-game of uh, Legends Arceus, and I wanted to stream that, record that, and so that I can put it on YouTube, and that we're finished with Legends Arceus. Remember? Told you about this, eh, like, uh, Wednesday, and on Monday, and on Friday, and now today. Sorry, my internet died. Bad internet, time to get better internet. 
But yeah, that. Um. Okay, this should finish. Yeah. Now Giratina. Two more Shadow Forces and one more Agile style move. Now if only the ghost types came out to play. Okay, the flies are fine as well. I've told everyone this. <clears throat> nom 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 does Garatina. Nom 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 does Garatina. Okay, one Agile style Dragon Pulse. Here we go. Okay. That puts an end to the legendaries we currently caught. I want to see my Pokemans. I want to see my Pokemans. I want to see my Pokemans. Okay. Just because I live in your head sometimes doesn't mean I know everything. Well, you should. You said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Hisoi after discovering it was no match for you. You said that when you should study it and add it to the Pokedex. You wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we should, would meet. But I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us known. I listen, I don't read. I listen, I don't read. Listen, I have been talking about this the entire time. I've mentioned it in three streams. Even that there's a high chance we're not streaming tomorrow because I will be celebrating my grandma's birthday. Return to the village. Okay. All of them are done. Wish to go to the Galaxy Hall, yes. Tox! Tox, Tox. I've just been told of the fall plan Volo had concocted. Well, think no more on that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. But what of you? Are you making progress with your... You call your study some Pokemon? Surveying, was it? It's been alright. Indeed? Well, Isui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you like to hear about? Tornadus, Landorus, and Thunderous. As Tornadus, in every direction it flies, staring up tremendous storms as it goes. And a blizzard batters the al uh, alabaster Icelands Tornadus may be about. Shall I speak to you about one of the others? Thunderous. 
Now thunderous, as it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. When a rainstorm lashes out on the cobalt coastlands, thunderous may be about. Landorus. Guardian of the fields. Obsidian field lands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me. I'm done, thanks. Is that so? Hmm. I know not why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps the cause lies with the space-time rift, or simply with their own whims. I suppose their staring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you plenty, but nature has need of such things. If you wish to know more, you'd best study Pokémon for yourself. When you've complete entries in your Pokédex for Landorus, Tornadoes, and Thunderous, come speak me with me. Okay. Is that everything? Okay, according to Sushi, I don't have to get the last four. Right? I don't have to capture... Lenderous, Thunderous, and... the last one. Or complete them. Sushi! Yaddy, yaddy, does he? Well. You suck, Sush. You suck. Okay, let's go here and then here. No, you. Yes, me. Coastlands and Alabaster Icelands. I'd all Lando Rus is over here. Thunderous is in the middle of the ocean. Great. And Tornadus. Listen, I press button, you remove all things, okay? Yeah, nice. There. She didn't say anything about Landorus needing to uh, appear during specific time zones, right? Harnet forces his... Oh, there it is. I see it. Let me guess, I can't. No, fine. Wait, did it just run away?
やりやりだぜウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイ、Kidding me? But how the fuck am I supposed to break its shield if it keeps running away like that? Fuck you, Thunderous. Jet balls, it is. Now I need to make it a snowstorm somewhere. For tornadoes, sheer sandstorm, and agile. Turn to the village. やれやれだぜマダファーカー。Okay, first the one in the ice lands. She goes zoom. Watch out, sushi. You saw, you shall otherwise go boom. <laughs> Let me make space for all three of them Lando, Russ, Thundo, Russ. Hunt o Russ. 
Any low tier feather balls you can waste on them. I don't have any low tier fucking crap. I'm too good for that. <laughs> There's a high chance that there is no stream tomorrow. Not a hundred percent sure if there is no stream, but there is a high chance, yes. Um Lando, bendo, cunty, hunty, window. Is this good enough for a snowstorm? Am I heading to the right direction even? Bone chill wastes. Okay. Uh, just need three. Agile style, sincere storm. Well, burned, blizzard. Sometimes I really hate this game. Yeah, there's Thornadus. Oh. Motherfucker. <laughs> Serious. Piss off. Like these fucking assholes. Well, there's not really a point in inducing combat with the motherfuckers. At this point. Seriously, this glaily bitch hole needs to piss the fuck off. Chug it at its back.
This is super uncool. Okay, this has got to be the dumbest shit the game has uh, that they decided to put in. Absolutely trash. Oops, don't need that much. Gotta wait until it's fucking storming again. Snowing, whatever. <sighs> yeah, this is really dumb. Not every, not all snow works. Good to know. Stupid fucking trash. This is what we need to see. I mean, uh, I've seen a video, no, I haven't seen the video yet. But uh, according to. Uh, some video shenanigans that I've read so far. There is now an exact way to make everything appear. So I don't know. Far. That's so cheap. He just spawns and instantly throws. What the fuck? I haven't even had the chance to like aim. These guys, they suck. Just get into the fucking ball. Hurricane. 
came. I like Thunderous. You can use Basque Legion. Uh, that... They all suck. Having to move around on Basque Legion at the same time and trying to hit this motherfucker. No thanks. Crunch. Strong style. Hurricane. Yayoi. Yeah, yoy. Fucking insta kill. You butthole. Fucking trash. Fucking trash. Emotional damage. Now I need a storm for Thunderous. Yeah, Leventon, go suck dick. Oh man, this last inch of the game that I need to play is pissing me off. Tornadoes. Didn't even use the attack that I needed to see. Fuck. Turn to the village. Okay, with a bit of luck it starts instantly raining. Or storming, whatever. Um... It doesn't ever storm in... Hey, Shinx. Outbreak. Bitch, lasagna. Bitch, lasagna. Haha, <laughs> I got my shit back. Thank you. Where is the rain when you need it? Where is the rain when you seek it? Oh, here it is. He's running around somewhere here. It's just a mantine. Where the fuck is that butthole? Hey! Hey, butthole! Where are ya? I see Gyarados.
Where the fuck is he? Thunderstorms only. I haven't seen a single... Oh, there he is. Yeah, but Austin John's video is an old one, you ding dong. Do you honestly think I'd send you towards Austin John? On a video he put out today. Video he put out today with 100% guarantee in thumbnail. Good lord, I hate that. Uh, let's just go with Agile style Dragon Claw. Seriously, though? Did he actually do that? Do I have to get tilty again? Arzine. So wait, there is nothing new in that entire video about how to get space-time distortions to spawn. No, you stink face. <laughs> Sushi, you're so good. You're doing such a good, good job today. No, I was talking about how to get the space-time distortion slip spawn from yesterday, apparently. Um. And if I go for the 100% shiny uh, outbreak thingy, watching the distortion video, but that also seems like just standing camp, do nothing. Uh, I'll go watch this one myself later then. But uh, for like uh, exploits and such, I'm not going to Austin John. I uh, go to Blaine's. It's way better. Because he actually tests stuff himself. Which was hilarious. Okay, we got this bitch hole. Too many birds, I can use landers as shit here.
Okay, where is... A little bit further ahead. Uh, I'll watch through some of the Blames videos once you're done. Seems like a good one. Bulldog. Okay, that's everything on Thunder uh, Tornadoes. Stinkies. Ow, Golduck, I'm not in the mood for your shite here. Can drop wood, it's good to know. It's indeed good to know. And headbutt. Buzel looking around. Buzel looking around. Sand sheer storm. Burned. Aqua jet. It's fine. Miss. Burn. Swift. Aqua Jet. Rude. Uh, crunch Agile Style. Find Wood for Kogita because kept the turn. Running into Pokeish Dolls. I had enough Wood to just pick up every single time. Shiny Boozle. What's wrong with those Boozle's eyes? Thunderous, go! Buzel dodge my fucking epic wild bolt storm. That are you kidding me? <sighs> Unfucking believable. Pog. Hog. Pog. Fuck that outbreak. <laughs> Seriously, fuck it. Mm -hmm. 
Genies are actually fairly small. Ugly assholes. Okay, now we just need to go to whatever her name was. Get the stupid genies. Locked up. Uh, bringing glass core, bringing you. Okay, last stop. Do we need to be here? Do we need to go to? No, I haven't seen the new genie yet. I'm gonna go get it right the fuck now. Where is she? Is she in here? No? Okay, good. Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. Kogita-chan. Ah, you've arrived. Yes. You know, um, you know much about Lander's Tornadoes and even Thunderous. Well done. In more normal times, I wouldn't bid you let those three fly free, as is their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift until the after effects fade entirely. Perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained. And now, it is time to tell you the rest. There is one more of that cohort. Come. Amur! This is Anamorous, the Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. Anamorous is not particularly given to ill behave, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her, then if you like. She always flits about in the Crimson Marlins. Okay, so she is gone. Uh, Crimson Mire... Ginas. Okay, Crimson Marlins. And now Maris. she's in the Scarlet Bulk. Fucking annoying area. Really can't tell if I hate her or not. Why is that? No good moveset or something? Looks like trash. She's just ugly. Listen, L all three of the genies are ugly. All four of them.
Tak. This really sucks. I hate this place. God for dumme. Yo, I just. Bitch! I miss my jet balls. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Effective, it's fine though. Agile style spring tight spring. What is our typing, anyways? Yeah, we have to get rid of the fucking crow gunk first, actually. Fairy, okay. Should be good enough. Strong style crunch. True, true items. Get in the fucking ball. Bitch. <laughs> I should really have given one of my Pokemon uh, false swipe. Eh. Yeah. Wouldn't have to worry about killing it the entire time.
Rest just a little while. And now Mortis, Springtide, Agile. What game? This game? Leaf can get Thunder Wave and False Wipe usually. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I haven't checked. I know he does get False Wipe. I just don't know about Thunder Wave. Oh, why do you motherfuckers have to dodge everything? Heck fucking yes, we're done. Bitch, go stand next to your brothers. And we're dragging you along. Seems you've caught one Pokemon. Yeah. Yes, it's time for Arcus. And of course, you had your directives, didn't you? Recall the message you received when you first fell down to this island. Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seems you finally achieved the goal. So, where must you go now? Mount Coronet, the Temple of Sinnoh. You'll find nowhere else in all of history closer to the heavens. You are practically among the stars up there. As if one with the very universe, all creation. What will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling, but... Well, this isn't my tale of adventure, it's yours. This is for you and you alone to go and find out. We each have our separate duties. Yours is to go to the Temple of Sinnoh and mine is to give this Pokedex a jolly thorough reading. Get me the fuck out of here, bitch. We're almost there. Almost there. The final step to completion. Oh. Like, I'm gonna be real honest, once I'm, like, done with that, I'm not gonna be playing this game for a while. Final step of any JRPG. Uh, yeah, technically, yes. Time to kill God. Oh, that way. No, we're not gonna kill God, we're gonna capture God. Jeez. What's the point of killing God? We need to capture him and use him for our Pokemon battles. Okay. 81 hours and 8 minutes playtime and we're at the final stop. Oh. oh, here, investigate. 
You already am gonna not. <laughs> no fucking way, Sush. Sick. This sounds like a Zelda tune. Sushi getting a shiny Alpha Scyther. A glowing stairway has appeared. Time to go and face God. Arcus Arceus Let the battle begin! Nah, come on. Oh. Gold just instantly slapped me. Fucking rude. Everything went blank. Attempt to battle again. Restart battle. Yeah. Hallelujah. This fight really hurts. I can tell. Wait, what the fuck? I sure do it again. I barely have time to hit you anyways. Oh wait, I was supposed to hit him. <laughs> A 
It's been so like I haven't played any of these fight this kind of fights in what 40 hours right now. I thought you were supposed to hit the balls. No, Jordi, not the balls. Seriously? Way too much delay for the dojo, I don't like that. Plus, if you want to hit a good distance with your orbs, anything, pokeballs. Phase one. Here's your chance to show Arceus your true power. Uh, no, let's just go for a regular Dragon Claw then. Wow. Arceus takes no fucking shit here. Uses it again? Okay, there goes Drago. Did what? Not once. Sush. Super effective. Fire. I had to go the whole fight without sending anything out. <laughs> Lol. That is big Fs. Maybe you didn't throw enough uh, items at him. Where is he? Holy shit! Oh, you're kidding me. You butthole! Everything went black. Yeah, I'm not gonna retry. We're gonna continue battle. I am not wanna fuck that shit. Keep progress. Okay, here comes that. Shit, still got hit. Unbelievable. Come on.
Okay, so rolling sideways when he does the wave actually allows you to keep distance and dodge the wave. Good to know. God, why is it green? Um, Arceus, why is a shiny Cleavor green? Can you tell us? He's gonna kill Drago again. Fuck, again the crit. My Draco can only stand one hit. Okay. Wait, when did I have fucking four? I already had to deal with the disappointment that is shiny. We are dear. Continue battle. Listen, every cool Pokemon except for Rayquaza has a disappointing shiny. <laughs> It's just how Game Freak works. I really don't like this battle. This is the set. On the Yoga and Palkia, I hadn't even died once. I only died once. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Avalon. Yori, what are you doing? You're not supposed to throw yet. Crap! Yeah, I have a lug. I have a fucking luggy duggy. Win? Good. Party! <sighs> yeah. Tho has done well to seek out all Pokemon. And flagging devotion to a goal shalt see it through. So hast thou proven by thine actions. Much as the ancient hero once did, he and the Pokémon that walked beside him. To see such truth proven anew beyond the bound of time and space it bringeth joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path, upon thee and upon this creation where thou now dwellest, I bestow my blessing. And I bestow upon thee a part of myself. I would walk this world together with thee. Show me how it appraieth in thine eyes. You received the legend plate from Arceus. Defying... De deified Pokémon. Okay, so... Uh, what was I gonna say? I know the game seems like it's just a game from the past, right? But honestly, I feel like this game is more like a uh, 
we're in a different world altogether other than either than we traveled to the past, so to say. Seek out all Pokemans. I want to see my Pokemans. Arcus. My right eye lid hurts. Arcus. How come that... Arceus only has one? Okay. How come, SQ, that your right eyelid hurts? Ice version. Wait. Like to do now, return to the village. I'm waiting. No. At least shouldn't. See? Wait, I am. Brothel is perf- Oh, yeah, I forgot all about fucking spirit cocksucker. I forgot to do battle with that guy. Uh, I think I saved them, though. Yeah, thank fucking God. I know, right? Jesus. X and strong style. Uh, let's have a look. How many times do I need to use it? Three hack strong styles. Oh, I still need to show that to um, what's her name as well. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. We just need to uh, make spare tomb do some shit. A few times, then go talk to uh, Mistress. Um, Big Pee Pee. <laughs> Mistress Big Pee Pee, sure you already. Wenton is easy, clap ish. Oh, nice. What is Oh Nice Sushi? You can fight the other legendary. The other legendary. Air slash. 
Ow. Okay. I'll be honest, I don't really care. Seeing as both fights are pretty much the same. Akus! Destroy my enemies. Bring judgment upon them. decided your Pokemon are simply unstoppable true except for spare to he got his ass kicked I just need to go do the spare tomb shit and talk to Mistress Kogita. You're already thirsty and tired as well. We're almost there, almost there, Yordi. Just a little bit longer. And now Morris arrives in Hisui once winter has passed, hence the epithet Herald of Spring. Her company, when I have the pleasure, is of great help. She ferries me hither and yon across Hisui, but I'll leave her in your care for now, I suppose. For now? Indeed, even you can barely expect to live for all time, surely, but she will be in your care for now. Here. This is the Reveal Glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. Nice. Now I know why he did a different charge attack when I fought him. I see. You, Enamorous and her brethren, have something in common. You all tend to stir a pot of life. Don't mistake me. I mean this positively. If everything were straightforward, what meaning would there be in living as long as we do? Once there was a god of fields, and once there was a god of spring. Upon Hisui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Was that how the old verse went? I passed on to you, all there is to pass. Our history goes from here, I leave to you and your companions to see through. And then she flutters away. Okay. Yeah, I really have to, don't I? Yes, you do. Now go to Crimson Mirelands, because those have easier enemies to murder. In close proximity of each other, at least. Go, Spear Tomb! 
Take the soul of this Psyduck. May it never leave hell. Sai, ay, ay. Sai, ay, ay. Woo! Beat the crap out of the RQ's rematch. Nice. No. I want to see my Pokemon. Uh, who was I dragging along again? Bravi Bravaria. Let's bring Lizzie along. And you go to the box where the Pokemons are that I don't know if I can get easily a second one. Spirit to Tomb! Oh my, could be. We, we finally did it! At long last, the Pokedex is well and truly complete. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I started studying Pokemon. I don't believe I'll ever be able to thank you enough for making my dream a reality. For now, though, we have an announcement to make. I'm sure everyone will be overjoyed to hear the Pokedex complete. Do let me know when you're ready, my boy. I'll be waiting for you back at the laboratory. You get 12.5k per rematch. Uh, for the amount of time that it took me to take it down? Ugh. Ish, not worth. Ah, you're here, smashing. I'll crack on with the big announcement then, shall I? Ahem, ladies, gentlemen, thank th you, thank you all f so much for gathering here at my behest. We've some rather special news to share, so please lend us your ear, if you'd be so kind. Today marks the fulfillment of a long-held dream of mine and the fruition of the most earnest effort of the entire survey corps. Yes indeed, for you see, the Pokedex, our corpse, Magnum, Magnum Opus, is finally, at long last, complete! Is it true? This fantastic achievement wouldn't have been possible if not for the hard work, no, the heroic efforts of our very own Jordi. For his quelling of the frenzied Lord Cleavor, all the way up to his battle against the Yalga and Palkia on top of mighty Mount Coronet, he's tirelessly he tirelessly surveyed the Pokémon of this land, while facing perils of the sort that would send most of us running for the hills. All this has led to our accomplish uh, to our accomplishing what can only be described as a remarkable triumph of human effort: the completion of a Pokédex. Hmm, so Yordi, he's still very much a mysterious stranger who fell from the sky. And I know not whether your actions were motivated by your own curiosity or a genuine desire to help the people of our village, but it doesn't matter. You have been a great asset to us, and I'm truly grateful for everything you've done. Perhaps I should also study under the professor, so I might learn more about Pokémon. Silene is quite capable of handling the duties of commander, I'm sure. Commendable work. I... In recognition of your effort, I present you with this shiny charm. You obtained the shiny charm! Heck yeah, fam! Tonight's potato mochi are my treat. I'll make sure I'm extra tasty. Celebration of Jordi and the Servant Corps' great achievement. Everyone feasted and danced till the dawn lightened the skies. Are we gonna get another credits roll? 
because this is the complete the true ending technically speaking the next day no credits rolling sad face Yesterday was incredible, wasn't it? Everyone was so thrilled with our work, but I don't believe our potent surveying work ends here. New farm hands! I have an alpha farm now! Yay! I'd like to try my hand at developing new crafting recipes and techniques too, but our research takes us... Wherever our research takes us, I look forward to sharing our discoveries together. Okay. Um, hmm. That is slightly disappointing. Oh well. Articus! Rosie Fairy Queen! How are you doing, Rosie? Thank you for the raid! Fev Martian, welcome. Welcome, everybody. How are you all doing today? Don't worry, you get to stand next to all the big boys. Look how large everyone is. Well, that's it, guys. That is the end of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We have officially Completed all main missions. We have completed all side quests. We have gotten at least a research level 10 on every single Pokemon in the Pokedex. Uh, we've obtained every single item and collectible in the game. And that's it. There's nothing left to do except for Shiny Hunt. Rosie, thank you very much for the raid. Enjoy the rest of your evening and the game, because it is a-fucking-tastic. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just got a raid from Rosie, but we're gonna go and see if we can raid someone else. Because we're done. I'm gonna go to bed in a bit. Uh, like I said, this is going to upgrade your bag and get all the charms. Fuck the charms and fuck the bag. It's like pointless things. We don't need that. <laughs> Uh, but at, maybe I'll get to it at some point, but that is not going to be happening on any of the streams or any YouTube videos. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to link most of the helpful sites that I used to get through completing the game. I bet that'd be very handy for some people. And, uh... That is pretty much it of this game. We're going to continue with Dying Light either tomorrow or Monday again. So yeah, uh, end opinion on Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, the Arceus fight was kind of annoying for me. I died a lot there. Maybe that's because I am getting tired. It's late, but that's also fine. The Tornado, the... Genies were also... I wasn't very fond of the genies. Catching them was not a fun thing to do. That was the only thing that really pissed me off about the game, I guess. Everything else about the game is just fantastic. It's very small. Uh, it's not very small. It's not an insanely big Pokedex, uh, which is good, honestly, because needing to get every single Pokemon to uh, research level 10 to fully complete or beat the game and get to fight the final true ending boss is a lot of hard work. It was definitely a lot of time spent. Uh, but this is this game is just amazing. This is a game that Game Freak needed to bring out for the Pokemon franchise because I played through 
Brilliant Diamond recently, and I was not entertained. I was bored out of my skull, and then... Not my thing, but Legends Arceus? Amazing. So thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. And until the next time, adios.